Fitness on Apple Money 8.5 FM. Welcome to round three action. Not far off a start here. White in the middle, donning the number 10 for Melton South. Another inclusion from Bensdale in the off-season. Olsen with King. Burton still dry up. German as well. Transman in the ruck for Melton South. There's the ball up. Both ruckmen went early. Knocked forward there by Sullivan. Chance here for King for an early touch. Went without it. Ball hurried forward there by Sullivan. Got deep into attack here. An opportunity for the Panthers. Mopping up while there was Hughes. Ball fell in the hands of Bartlett. He goes out of side. Had too much on it. Over the line, out of bounds on the full. Good early clearance from the Panthers. Good clearance. Uh, inter interesting uh, contest in the middle. Uh, Dransman jumps straight into Burton. So means business today. Into attack go the Panthers to the top of the square. Reading it well was Wardell. Did everything but take the mark. Soccer off the ground. Doesn't quite have enough on it. Opportunity there for White to keep the ball in play. Ball spills off hands over the line for a boundary throw in. About 15 metres around from the Melton South goal. Once again, uh, same as last week. Wardell a bit scratchy early. Uh, he uh, dropped a relatively easily mark that he should take in there. There's the throw in. Will Burton just uh, push Conway out of the way? Chance for uh, Christopher. Do the mopping up. Hand pass was good. To got it to Wardell on the run. He went out wide looking for Blundell. Had too much on the kick. Chance here for the youngster there in Theo. Hand pass inboard went to nobody in particular. He had to do his own sharking in the end. Well, there wasn't even a player there, Fridge. But uh, never start there for the youngster from the Western Jets. Yeah, no, interesting those two two boys from the Jets. Um, young uh, Curtis, Curtis and Theo. Yep. Boundary throw in. Burton does the ruck work. Good Excellent knock. tap. Got it. They're still dry. Didn't break stride. Right will kick inside to attack. Oh, it should take this on the second grab. He does. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. And just looking at where Pendlebury ended up in that aerial contest, he was no man's 20 metres behind no man's Owen. Land, Todd. No man's land. And Owen will go back and have a shot on goal. <coughs> Mixed memories of this ground for uh, the Cobras captain, of course, breaking his nose in the opening five minutes of the away trip here to Melbourne South back in 2018. <coughs> Cast severely, he was. So Owen with the shot on goal. <coughs> From about 40 metres out, kicking to the Melbourne end, pretty much directly straight in front. Distance won't be a problem, but accuracy will off to the right minor score. First score of the afternoon, going to back a smash. I think they're kicking with a slight breeze, albeit a cross breeze in this uh, opening term, Fridge. Yeah, no, it, it, it is uh, blowing across the ground, uh, across to the minor 10 store on the outer side, Todd. Ball to come back into play. We, uh, the Cobras combining through Chapman and the like. Kips, kicks kept low just inside the boundary line. Curtis is outnumbered here, the youngster. Might have caught one high. Should have up got high, didn't kick. see it. Should have got ball one there. Ball at ground level, there'll be a ball up. Let off there for the Cobras and Nick Stildryer. On half forward. Coach's box signed off the ground for the Cobras. Burton's tap missed it, but he got it on the second go with a kick out of the congestion with a high kick. Mepstead does the spoil for Melton South. Off hands over the line for a boundary throwing. Sullivan is close checking on uh, Nick Steele Dry. Obviously, uh, Heath has identified last week a game of uh, Nick's and uh, trying to nullify him with, uh, with Sullivan. Throw in, tap one by Burton to Steele Dry. The man you speak of got it to uh, German. Quick hands to Parente. Couldn't gather cleanly the youngster. Shea taken the ground by Fino. Right on half forward here. For the Cobras, the umpire will come in and ball it up. We've been playing a tick over three and a half minutes opening term. It's the Cobras who lead by a point. Burton on top early, wins that tap. Got it to Stuhl Dryer. Has his third or fourth touch in the opening three minutes. Make that four or five as he leans back on the kick. Shot on goal. And there's the opener to the Cobras. Just what they would have wanted. Tick inside four minutes. The Cobras lead seven. Melbourne South end to score. Um, Continued on from last week's performance, Nick still dryer, you know, like uh, if you let him off the chain, you know, give him that opportunity, he will hurt you and other times, you know, like he, he you know, he, he racks up possessions and sometimes his uh, kicking does let him down, but if you give him any opportunity, he will hurt you inside 50. Yeah, five possessions inside five minutes. He's on track for 100 plus. He's got the opening goal. There's the ball up. This is a good Tap one cricket. by Burton. <laughs> King knocked the ball. Okay, well towards Blundell. 
players ran away from him and the kick inside 50 was good and found Owen on the chest. Once again, Pendlebury giving cool. too much leverage at the moment. Now, Owen would be well aware of the minus 50 um, ring they've got around here at Melton South. It's probably the best part of 40 to 45 and he's going to go back and have a shot on goal. Back a smart seven lead Melton South yet to score just with the one forward 50 entry in the opening five minutes of the Panthers as Owen leans back on the kick. Distance again, not a problem, but accuracy, a mirror image of his opening shot on goal. He has two behinds as he misses off to the right. Short kick in from defence is OK from the Panthers. They go wide to Thornton Gielan with ball in hand. Looking for some movement. Gets around Parente. Has to get on his preferred left. Not been dropped what he should have taken. Ball at ground level. Willits has two to beat. Panthers have got the numbers. White concedes some ground with a hand pass to Thornton Gill. And I speak of Will. Transfers play out wide. Excellent running there by the youngster there in Theo who marks on the defensive 50. Kick in board to Pendlebury. Plays on. Hand pass was OK. Right foot kick from the Panthers. They got the ball towards half forward. Good spoil. Chance here for Conway at ground level with strength. Throws the ball onto the boot. Curtis negotiates his way through traffic. Onto the preferred left boot. Goes deep into attack. Bartlett quite happy to see the ball over the line. And out of bounds on the full. And they'll take the resultant free kick deep in the back pocket for the Cobras as the Panthers kick to the Melton City end in this opening turn. Shea leads up. Comfortable with the kick. Transfers playing to the defensive goal square. Right and Burton can go to King. He's forced to hold up a bit, but uh, he's got enough space and time to mark. Plays on, keeps the kick low. Good stretch there by Hughes. Look, the ball was meant for Christopher, but Hughes did well. Weighted the kick equally as well towards Willits. He's got time to gather. He's got one to beat, and it's Thornton Gill, and the tackle was good. Parente dropped the ball. The umpire let it go, and the Panthers here have got numbers, and they can get out. Hand pass in board here. Well, Thornton Gillen went to go, but uh, went by foot in the end. Went along the line there towards uh, Fino. He's outnumbered. Hand pass of Christopher got it to Wardell. Had to be quick by kick. Got towards half forward. Owen at the back takes the mark. Just pushed uh, Olsen under the ball. Every bit of experience there from the Cobras captain as he goes short with the kick. The kick was pretty ordinary. Went in the Martin direction. Tries to throw the ball to boot from ground level to the advantage of Parente. But the boundary line will beat them all over the line. Boundary throwing about 25 metres around from the Cobra goal. He's up and about, Jake, at the moment. You know, like, uh, just unfortunately he's missed those uh, first two set shots on goal. Boundary throwing. Cobras in attack. Martin to do the ruck work. Hand over his shoulder, but uh, German might have caught one too. Umpire said no. Barton, Martin's hurried left foot kick out of the congestion. Had too much on it for Griffiths. Off hands over the line for a boundary throwing. Adjacent to the behind post. Cobras deep in attack. Just seemed to be hesitating a, a little bit at this point of time. Todd uh, Mountain South, they got no direction in their play just at this point of time. They're sort of chipping and trying to find a way through. There's the throw in. Chance here for White. Just soccers it out of nowhere to the true half-back position. Christopher reading it well. Kick behind the play. Right foot kick to the top of the goal square. Owen goes back and takes another grab. Surely he can't miss from here. Fridges, he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Chooses to play on. Oh, he's hit the post. Can you believe it? I was just going to say, Toddy wouldn't be home, wouldn't be invited for Sunday dinner, but that, that just makes a good thing of it. Well, yeah, if you had to read on the, on the pedigree or soon to be... Uh, family tree there. Who do you think you are? You'd probably see the link back to Wayne Fridge Freeman, our co-host here this afternoon as Owen balls up that third shot on goal. Out of defence goes Melton South now. Opportunity here for Nevs Nevstead. Rifle kick was OK. Got it towards Curtis. Through the middle of the ground. Kick comes wide. Cobras have got the numbers. Well trapped there by the youngster there in Porter. He was dispossessed though as soon as he got it. Copping one high there was Wood. And he'll take the free kick on half forward. For the Panthers. They'll need to do something with this entry. Cobras have got numbers back. They go wide to Conway. And Belden to beat. Went through both of their hands over the line for a boundary throw in. Good to see. Good to see Alex Porter get a chance. You know, a, a de debut. He's uh, not a bad footballer. A uh, little bit of size about him, and uh, does use the footy well, Todd. There's the ball in tap one by 
Well, Burton's shoulder in the end as they get out of trouble through German. Right foot kick to the social club side centre wing. Chance here for Willits. It sits OK. Weighs up the options. Can see some ground to Porter. Hand pass from Porter. Got it to Martin. Back to Willits. Running out of space and time and numbers here, the Cobras, as they negotiate by hand through Martin to Porter. Finally, they get ball to boot. It's a bit of an errant kick, but a dangerous kick to the top of the square. Chance here for Theo to do the mopping up for the Panthers with hand. They get the ball to Sharp. Sullivan running back. Oh, just fell over. That didn't look good. He looks at a world of hurt there, uh, Sullivan. Ball at ground level. Chance here for Sharp. They need the other Sullivan to get Sullivan to get involved. Ball falls into the hands of German. Pot shot of the goals. Off to the right through for a minor score. But I tell you what, the trainers will be out to check out on Sullivan. He just fell awkwardly there. Didn't move and he looks in a world of hurt. Looks like there'll be a pause in play, Fridge. Yeah, look, um, we've just seen it. When he went to turn, he, you know, his feet went, went from underneath him. So... Hopefully, uh, it's not too bad, but uh, they're calling for the stretcher. So, um, yeah, no, I'm fortunate for the young fella, Todd. One goal, 410 back as smash. Three and those behinds coming to uh, Jake Allen. The other two, Tom German in that last passage. And the uh, opening goal of the game, of course, coming through Nick Stilldryer in the opening four minutes. We've been playing a tick over 11 minutes now. Back as smash, 10 lead. Melton South, uh, zero. Uh, Coppers on top, he be fair to say, Fritch? Well, you know, they've probably dominated, you know, like uh, nine minutes of play in this game, Todd. Um, you know, and uh, the road is only one four, so, you know, I hope it doesn't come back to haunt them later in the day. Yeah, like we were suggesting that the scoring end may well be the end that the Coppers are kicking to in this uh, opening term. Uh, conversion. Uh Let's hope it doesn't let, uh, well, for the Cobras' sake, it doesn't let them down. They lead by 10. But uh, defensively, they'd be happy. Melton South yet to have hit the scoreboard uh, with 11 minutes gone. Yeah, and look, uh, they've only had, I think, maybe three inside 50s. Um, and you can actually see um, what, what they're about. Uh, really, it's uh, one-way traffic to the number seven. Um, so I, I don't know where their, their options are with regards to, you know, uh, 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 finding another forward to kick goals from Todd, whether they have to swing a Pendlebury, you know, forward, um, you know, whether they they put uh, Ollison forward. Well, maybe Pendlebury's that man in defence, given they're kicking with the... The Coppers are kicking with the breeze in this opening term. Um, we've got uh, Bill here. Bill's going to look up the uh, current scores of the other Ballarat Football League games because uh, they'll, of course, be 15 minutes into their uh, opening terms. So we'll get a, an opening... Uh, we'll get a an update score for you there. Um, Coppers, they'll be happy with their reserves win earlier this afternoon. Of course, no under-19 match. Uh, Melton South not fielding 18. Yeah, no, they, they, they had a good victory. Um, started well. Um, you know, had a good lead up to half time. And uh, last week they dropped away. And... and uh, Obviously, they didn't want that to happen this week, and yeah, no, they, they had a really good fort win this week. So Ryan Bartlett just coming off and just getting a reboot with liquids, I imagine, but unfortunately for um, Melton South, it's not good. Sullivan, 50-plus games, player for uh, the club, and he's only a, only a youngster as well, so everything all before him. They haven't had a lot of luck, Melton, like... Uh, first round they lost three players before half time they, I think they lost two blokes in the first quarter um, and then uh, someone before half time uh, in their opening round so they're not having a lot of luck with uh, with injuries Melton yeah so yeah. the Sullivan that we uh, we speak of because for the benefit of our our um, Melton South listeners it's actually Billy Sullivan who's uh, leaving leaving the ground on a stretcher suspected uh, knee injury there and uh Matthew will uh, fly the flag for the Sullivan family with the Panthers for the remainder of the afternoon. Well, for the Panthers' sake, you might think that that might be some inspiration, get some, get some want and some need into their into their footy in this opening turn fridge. Well, but, but, you know, like the, the stoppage might may sort of help them to reset again, Todd, um, because I just think um, Bacchus Marsh in the first 10 minutes of this, this game are, are all over them at the moment. So we'll restart play after that four-minute delay for the exit of Sullivan. 
That'll be a left foot kick from Pendlebury. Gee, got plenty of it right to the middle of the ground. Oh, excellent Good fly mark. there at the back there from uh, Conway. Waste no time through the middle. Goes long, looking towards Wyatt. Hughes did well to negate Wyatt's access to the footy. Second effort, good. Just hurries the ball out wide towards the boundary line. Chance South will be delivery. wanting a deliberate here. That's no. obviously come off hands over the line. Boundary throw in. About 45 metres around from the Melton South goal, right in front of the social club here. Melton South, 10 lead Melton. Uh, sorry, back of Marsh, 10 lead Melton South yet to score. There's the throw in. Burton in front got pushed out of it by Conway. Umpire let it go. Chance here for German. Got wrong footed and then now uh, went to ground. Tried to knock it further forward but couldn't. Oh, Porter in there. Fighting hard for the football with Jake Thornton. Geelan for Melton South. But the umpire will come in and affect the ball up. Right on half forward here. He's had a couple of touches, Porter. Uh, what I've seen is, uh, is really good. 15 and a half minutes gone opening term. Back of Smash lead by 10. Burton just... Grabbed it out of the ruck and hand passed the ball to the open space and found Shea, who got it towards Schwarzenberg, who got it to the King, who's under the pump, taken to the ground by Curtis. The umpire says too long. It's Curtis. Curtis wastes no time, goes inside 50. King still on the ground. Looks at a bit of pain. Keep an eye on him, Fridge. As uh, they'll do the mopping up. Out of defence, the Cobras. Oh. Excellent tackle there from Schwarzenberg as Burton's 20-metre hand pass found German right on the corner of half-back. Keeps the kick low in the uh, other direction. Took oh. the mark. Well, on half volley, can't pay those. Ball fell free to Griffiths, who gave it to Shea from Truce at half forward. Kicked it to an open forward line. Dottomay needs a friendly bounce, but he's knocked to the ground by Chapman. The ball comes off hands over the line for a boundary throw in. Coast to coast from the Cobras out of the fence. Now they're deep forward, 20 metres around from goal. King's up and about. I just think his pride might have been hurt then. Might have knocked the crown off for a moment there, you think, Fridge? Yeah, man, not bad on the crownies either. There's the boundary throwing Germany in amongst it again. Can see some ground with a hand pass. There's some hurried kick to the top of the square. Griffiths fighting hard. Couldn't gather. Soccer off the ground there from Shea. Off to the right through for a minor score. In fact, it might have been... Yeah, it was him. Shea. It was Shea. Got it right the first time. 1-5. Back of Smash lead. Melton South. Yet to score. Kick in out of defence. Went in the Olsen direction. And Parente has done well to our pointies. More senior opponent as Pareto pumps the ball inside 45. Pendlebury just threw one arm up at it, misread the footy. And waiting in the back there was Griffiths for Bacchus Marsh. Marks on the chest just inside the boundary line. We'll go back and have a shot on goal. Distance won't be a problem here. It's all about accuracy for the Cobras in this opening turn. They're 1-5-11. They lead Belton South yet to score. 17 and a half minutes gone opening turn. So Griffiths with ball in hand. Comes in, sets sail for the judge. And guilty of being off to the right once again. Let off for Melton South. 1-6-12 back as Marsh. Lead the Panthers yet to score near 18 minutes gone opening term. Yeah, look, uh, you know, like I said before, Todd, uh, back as Marsh just dominated the play in this first 10 or 12 minutes. Um, you know, uh, uh, they just seem very hesitant and with decision-making Melton South. They'd, you know, like, um, it's all this short chipping stuff. So Pendlebury runs his full measure and then goes short. The kick's OK. Finds Lloyd. He goes in board with the left. Kick has to be good. It was sharp. Gathered the ball, defensive 50, then didn't know where to go. Gather was good at ground level from Jake Thornton Gill and went out wide towards the outer side, centre wing position. Right. Chance here for Theo. He's bailed up, ball falls free. Chance here for King now at ground level, tries to barge through the tackle of Nottingham. Ball falls free. Hand pass there, inboard was clever there from Pendlebury. Short right foot kick from Thornton Gillen was okay, got it to Kavarik. Hand pass through the middle of the ground was good to half forward. It's good build Chance up. here for Wyatt, corner of half forward, want to be quick. Sends it to the top of the square, no one home for the Panthers. And well read there by the Cobras defence in Schwarzenberg and they'll get the Cobras out of trouble. Once again, Conway, no one deep forward for, for Mountain South. So um, like, uh, it was a good build up, like, good transition from, from the back pocket. Todd, but no reward. Yeah, the kick out of defence there from Schwarzenberg was, uh, was, wasn't was great. Neither was Parente's fielding as it went straight through his legs and into the boundary fence for four. 
well, catches win matches and goals win go games. Boundary throw in, defensive 50 here for the Cobras. Parente was the one with clean hands. Got it to Martin, he got it to Dixon. Hurried right foot kick, gets the uh, Cobras out of trouble momentarily. Griffiths at ground level, got knocked off at well by Sharp. His hand pass was okay. Got it out wide, chance here for the Cobras. Left foot kick. Misses everything, good pressure on the kicker there from the Cobras. Over the line for a free kick. Out of bounds on the full. The Cobras will get out of trouble. Kick short's okay to Waddell. He'll switch play. Go wide out to Bartlett. Bartlett weighing up the options. The Western Jets Panther Curtis stands to mark. The kick short's okay to Hughes. Took his eye off it at the last minute. Forced Bartlett into having to push forward and get involved once again. Off hands over the line. Boundary throw in. Got to keep your eye on the footy fridge. Yeah, no, he had it spent before he got it. Todd, he, he, he uh, had no pressure whatsoever and just uh, spilled out of his hand. Boundary throw in. Cobras defending here. They've yet to concede a score. Back as far as a 1-6-12. They lead Melton South yet to score. 20 and a half minutes gone. I think we'll go th the north side of 30 in this opening term after four minutes plus was spent on Sullivan's exit on a stretcher earlier on as... King, hurried kick out of the stoppage was hopeful more than anything else because it went to the true centre half forward position uh, soccer off the ground there for Parente went into the Burton direction which is out, out done there for speed there by Thornton Gielan, also took on one too many and Parente did well, affected the turnover, Dixon with the kick inside 50, oh and a little bit disappointed and uh, the marks being taken there by Mepstead the biggest part of uh, Kane Dixon's game is his execution of the ball. Um, the amount of times that he does actually butcher it, but, oh, look. Pendlebury with ball in hand. Laconic left foot style, similar to his brother, just gains about 15 or so metres. Right foot kick there from the Panthers, beyond centre wing. Good. Mark set, taken there by... Bartlett concedes some ground with a hand pass. Now the switch kick to Wardell, who's all on his own, needs a favourable bounce. Tried to turn and grab at the same time. Couldn't quite execute. Ball at ground level. Curtis keeps his feet. The youngster from the Jets on the preferred left foot. Goes deep into attack. Wyatt sets himself and he takes the mark in front of the youngster there. Lahure. And against the run of play, it's Wyatt who will go back and have a shot on goal to open Melton South. Scoring a count. And kick the plate on top. Waste no time as I took a glance at the scoreboard. Wyatt's run around and kicked Melton South's opening goal off the term. Been playing near 22 and a half minutes opening term. Back as fast. One goal, 6-12. Lead the Panthers. One goal straight, six. Turnover with Waddell in the in the centre of the ground. Um, you know, he's not not that great below his knees, uh, Tomer, but... Uh, no, the turnover there, and uh, he, he's impressed me, Curtis. He's probably yeah, one of their shining lights in this quarter. Yeah, we'll get all the goal kickers and the best players from uh, Fridge at quarter time. Back of Smash, 12, lead Melton South, 6. There's the ball up. We'll give that to, to Dransman. Chance here for German. Got tackled. Might have been hung on to it for a bit longer. The umpire said play on as Sullivan heads the Panthers into attack. Belden and Conway with a one-on-one. -on -one. At the back there was Callus. He got a horrible bounce. Conway tried to kick the ball over his head. He's taken the ground with the footy as Waddell with Street can see some ground with a hand pass. Right up against the uh, the goal line there of the Panthers and it's finally rushed through for a behind. He tried to beat five there, Conway. South seven. Speak of Melton South seven. Foul back as smart as 12. Kick in's okay. Got it to still dry. The kick wasn't as good from him. Opportunity here for Callis. He's kicked for a 50. Excellently smothered there by Stool Dry. He got the ball back. Another grubbery kick. Excellent gather there from uh, Wood. Can see some ground with a hand pass to Wyatt. Shot on goal for his second of the term. Off to the right minor score. Let off there for the Cobras Fridge. Uh, Nick Stool Dry trying to pivot a, 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 a uh, pass through to Harry King instead of trying to go over the top. Back of Smash 12, lead Melton South 8. Ball back into the play from Christopher. Gets the ball beyond half, forward. Umpires paid back. the mark. No, Burton just flew. Just wasn't involved in that contest, actually. Was more of a, a block for his copper opponent. And Bartlett with ball in hand. From half back, out of sight of the ground. Keeps it low. That's a good kick. 
That's more like what the coppers want to see. Found Owen on the lead. Didn't have to break stride. Right foot tick goes into the Willens direction. He sets himself. Punch at the back was good from Sharp. Ball at ground level. 50-50. Ball in dispute here. Sharp trying to keep his feet over the ball. Parente, but the umpire will blow the whistle, you'd think. And he does. He'll come in and affect the ball up. 24 and a half minutes gone. The Cobras back in attack. 35 metres out from their goal. They lead by four points. So you can have uh, 10 or 15 minutes of play and within, you know, two or three minutes, turnovers and uh, they can be with you again. Germans hurry, tick out of the congestion. Only went as far as Chapman, who's got some pace. On the non-preferred left, gets it to centre wing. Callis pushed Burton under the ball. But uh, reading it well there at the back there was uh, Bert. Uh, Waddell. Waddell. They got it to Bert and went to half forward. Well, three or four players just interested in running after the footy here at the moment as Lloyd ends up with the ball in hand. They're out here. Kavari can go short. Ordinary kick. Made it difficult. Oh, just uh, over committing there. We'll still try on Wood. Waste no time. Gave away the free kick. Gave it to Olsen. Penetrating left foot kick. And Curtis takes the mark for the Panthers. And just pushed Hughes under the footy. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal from about 35 metres out from goal, 45 degree angle. Look, he's uh, he's a likely type, this boy, Todd. Uh, he's, he's got a few tricks. Yeah, well, he'll be available for the opening month of footy for the Panthers. He was in their best three or four last week as the Western Jets left footer. will have a shot on goal. Umpire does got not move. And the sound of the horns from the cars around the ground says he's put it through. And Mountain South, despite less of the footy and 15% of ball in their forward half of this opening term, now lead 2 2 14. Back as Marshall, one goal, 6 12. 26 minutes gone, opening term. Lux of fortune. So, you know, like, uh, you know, the amount of times that uh, Bacchus Marsh have had it inside 50 for a reward of one goal six. And, you know, they've had probably five minutes of play or less than five minutes of play and uh, finished in front, Melton South. Last two goals to Melton South. Tap one by Burton. Got it to still dry. He was dispossessed. Melton South in the game now. Finally settled. Pressure's better. Now they're starting to hunt the footy in the opponent. Ball up. Taking side of the middle of the ground. Burton thumps the ball almost a half forward. Reading it that was Olsen with strength. Got the hand pass over towards Mepps. He's hurry kick towards half forward. Curtis with his confidence up can run onto the footy. Got a bad bounce. Hughes was helping out an umpire called play on. Hot footy at the moment. And Chapman did well to knock the ball forward over the line for a boundary throw. And attacking side of centre wing for the Panthers right in front of us here at the commentary box. It worked right and their intensity was lifted in this last five minutes, Todd. You know, as indeed, there's the throw in. Burton wins another tap. Schwarzenberg at ground level could have been pushed. Umpire call play on. Still try. Measures the options. Threaded it in between two players. I'll speak of Lloyd at Pendlebury and found Martin who played on. Got the ball to Burton. Left foot kick goes in the Willets direction. He couldn't take the mark. Chance here for Pendlebury through traffic. Right hand hand pass was okay. Chance for Kavarik. Right foot kick along the line. Thought to Gillen had two to beat and size to beat, and somehow he's ended up with the footy. Well, just a little bit of body pressure on Martin. He, you know, just conceded that mark. You know, it needs to be more stronger. So Thornton Gillen, toing and froing around. Schwarzenberg goes into the middle of the ground. Horrible kick. Tyson Shea took the mark, played on, turnover here, gave it to German. Right foot kicks a beauty. And coming out, taking the mark on the chest is Aaron Willits, who'd have fond memories of his last game here back in 2019 when he kicked 10 for each. Yeah, no, he uh, had a big day here. Um, I think uh, four or five of them were Joe the Gooses, weren't they, Todd? Yeah, well... When you get to 10, it starts to, it starts to equal an impact, doesn't it? Well, let's yeah. see how he goes. The yeah. goose. Usually a good kick, Aaron. Right foot kick. On goal, makes no mistake. Much to the delight of the Coppers fans, they're back in front. They're 2-6-18, the Coppers. They lead Melton South 2-2-14, and that all came on the back of that turnover at centre wing fridge. Turnover and give the opportunity to, you know, get... German out in, the, uh, out in the space and then uh, the lead up and the kick was uh, excellent. So win-win uh, for, for Bacchus Marsh. Nick still driver and Aaron Willits for the two goals for the Cobras in this opening term. 
Melton South have Sean Wyatt and Paul Curtis to thank for theirs. There's the ball up. Back in the middle of the ground. Burton got it to still dry. It was under the pump. Forced to go by hand to vacant space. Fell in the hands of Burton. He got it to still dry again. Conceded some ground with a hand pass to Christoph. Could have done more with that kick. In fact, he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. That's an ordinary kick off half back from uh, Christopher. Yeah, he should be, be better than that. And Kavarik on the outer side, true centre wing position. <clears throat> Been playing 29 and a half minutes opening term. Still think three or four minutes left to Fridge, given that uh, delay in play with Sullivan coming off the ground. Yeah, and that bloke's just kicked the ball and did fairing him. How can he hit that tree? I mean, and and more time will be added to the term as this guy tries to uh, kick the, the footy back into the play. And all he's trying to do is hit a nest out of a tree. <laughs> Country footy at its best as Kabarik's right foot kick. Goes in the direction of Olsen, but reading it better than everyone was Burton. Got, was quick with the play on. Got it to uh, Shea. Schwarzenberg was strong. He got it towards Still Dryer. Chance for Porter here at ground level. Pick up was good. Got dispossessed. Oh, Pink for holding the ball. Bit stiff, the youngster. Here's an opportunity here for the Panthers on half forward. The ball got to Pendle. From 45, kick across the face. Wyatt on the goal line takes the mark. Bit stiff there, young fella. You know, he's actually grabbed by the arm and it's, it's slung out. So Wyatt's conceded unselfishly some territory to find Wood in a better position and he'll go back and have a shot on goal from about 25 metres out with a chance to put Melton South back in front. They trial by four points. Near 31 minutes gone opening term. So Wood kicked the goal last week against Redan. Set sail for the judge. Draws it back. They like it. It's all up to the goal umpire. He likes it as well. Melton South with a quick response. 3 2 20, the Panthers. They lead back as far as 2 6 18. Once again, the uh, mistake in the middle from a free kick, which was probably a little bit dubious. Um, you know. Big kick into the forward line, finds, uh, who was it there, Todd, sorry? Wyatt's on Wyatt, the goal line Wyatt from on Pendlebury. The goal line and then uh, goes to the better option. Found and, Wood. And found Wood. Um, yeah, look, a uh, bit stiff for the marsh there. They're on their way then. 20 plays, 18. Five scoring shots to eight. But it's the Panthers who lead by two points. Near 32 minutes gone, opening term. Long quarter, but we did lose four. For a stretcher exit, Burton again, the tap was was significant again, but the siren sounds. And Melton South will be very happy. 50 for, for Melton South, so, you know, he's not actually uh, hanging on the Jake like a leech. He's uh, creating some play for himself, Todd. Big thank you to the Backus Marsh Golf Club who are uh, sponsoring the uh, player, uh, of best player from Backus Marsh. So, Fridge, you keep an eye on that this afternoon as we head to the ball up to get planned away for the second term. Burton again, we've said that enough already. Uh, knocked out of the ruck, only went as far as Olsen. Left foot kick, measured kick. Chance here for Curtis, hand pass. Got it over the wall, open goal, bang. 12 seconds if you don't mind. Well, how about that? Burton first hand on the footy. Yeah, hit and it then to it nobody. Olsen, Curtis. Hit it to nobody. And Wood. Our blokes were running forward. And he's hit it to the Mountain South guy, and he's got it, cleared it, and a drop mark. Simple, once again, Bartlett drops the mark, and creates the opportunity. Crumb has come in, make it a goal. So Wood gets his second goal of the afternoon. The Cobras extend, if, uh, sorry, Mountain South extend. They're 26. They lead the Cobras 18. The other goal scorers for Mountain South, White and Curtis. While Still Dryer and Willis have the goals for the Cobras, we'll give that tap to Dransman at ground level wanting the free kick umpire called play on as still dry clearly the leading possession winner on the at the moment gets the ball to the outer side centre wing foot race on in earnest Chapman at ground level did well against Blundell as Olsen finally lends assistance ball gets hurried towards half forward for the Panthers but uh, on the goes over the line out of bounds on the full and lucky Christopher will bring the ball back into play Took just 12 seconds for the Panthers to kick their first goal of this uh, second term. They lead by eight points. Sheer contrast to the first quarter, Todd. Took them 19 minutes to kick their first. Yeah, and took one of their favourite sons to get removed on a stretcher to get involved in the game because they were really nowhere to be seen in that opening third. 
Boundary throwing. Taking side centre. We go out of side of the ground for the Cobras. German. German's bailed up. The umpire says, I'll have it. And there'll be a ball up. Taking side of centre wing. Wood with two goals. White and Curtis. One each for the Panthers. Still dryer and Willits, the goal scorers. As Burton just grabs that out of the ruck. Kicks the ball inside 50. Griffiths held without it. Umpire said, play on. Ball falls into the hands of Owen. Kicks it to a one-on-one with Willets. Can he take it on the second grab? He does. Umpire calls, play on. Tackled by Thornton Gillen. Kick across the body. Ends up rushed through for a behind. And Willets appealing. How's that? Yes. Yeah, no, he, uh, he thought he clearly took it, but didn't get rewarded. Kick back into play was ordinary from the Panthers. Only as far as Parente, he's squaring kick. Got the ball towards Wardell. Off Dixon. Inside 50. The fly was Willets. Couldn't take the mark. Man in front there was Sharp. Got the ball. Only as far as Bartlett. Took a nice mark. Read it well. Wood a little hurt there. Slow to get up. Playing with a hand pass towards the Hooray. Kick had too much on it. Dixon couldn't take the mark. Chance here for the Panthers. That kick was uh, pretty ordinary, but uh, it allowed uh, Conway with all his class to take it on the second grab. Right foot kick deep into attack. Running back with a flight of the ball was Fino. Will it sit for him? It doesn't. How's his second effort? He's got Curtis to the outside. Waiting for the hairball. It just didn't come his way as the numbers... Flock onto the footy from the Cobras defence and there'll be a ball up about 15 to 20 metres around from the Panthers goal. Very lucky there. Uh, kick to Dixon. That may have had a bit too much on it, but he had fingertips to it and they got it away and lucky to get away with that one, the Marsh. Panthers lead by seven. Conway's tap only went as far as a, a second wave of players that are waiting around the footy. We'll speak of eight or nine of those and there'll be a repeat stoppage. <coughs> 20 minutes out from the Cobra goal as Conway will do the ruck work. Burton won the tap, though. Ball falls into the hands of LaFranc. He's bowled up by Notman. And there'll be a repeat stoppage. Panthers into attack. They they lead 26 back as March 19. Near four minutes gone. Second term. Miss the ball up. Burton with a tap goes boundary side. King was hoping that it'd sit for him. It doesn't. German. Over the footy. Taken to the ground. Up by says, I'll have it. There'll be another ball up. This time, 35 metres out. 45 degree angle away from the Panthers goal. On the coach's box side of the ground, they kick to the Melbourne City end in this second term. Kick across the body was clever in the end, really, from uh, Parente because he can only really kick the out of bounds on the full, but um, he did well to keep it in the youngster. And a bit of a curve on it, Todd. Yeah, nice draw. Swinger, in swinger, in-swinger, left to right. Member side centre wing, boundary throw in. Drans were just Grabbed it out of the ruck. He was the only one Back. contesting, in fact, as German applied the tackle. The hooray in from the side. He's taken to the ground by Kavarik, and there'll be a ball up. It was Shea, in fact. Good stiff not to get a free kick there. The triangle just fell over him. Panthers 26 lead the Cobras 19. Five minutes gone. Oh, he's got sick of tapping at Burton. Now he's kicking the ball out of the ruck if you don't mind. Right. Chance for Donovan runs on to it half forward okay. square. He kicks a beauty. Just went over the head of Willets. Uh, foot race on in earnest. Thornton Geeling after Willets. Tackle was good. Dropped the footy umpire called play on. Might have just got a hand to that. Ball at ground level done well there, Thornton Geelan. Here come the troops as Melton South will get themselves out of trouble through Wyatt. Kick across the body's okay. Mark taken there by no Theo yeah, off hands over the line for a boundary throw in. Right in front of the uh, Melton South massive over there. Play 55. There's the boundary throw in. Right next to the coffee van. Good luck selling a coffee over there today. Is the down boys just gone down <laughs> save the tent. <laughs> oh, save a stretcher for one of these umpires if we don't mind. There'll be a boundary throw in. Luckily for the central umpire, is he fair to come fell over a large beetle. There's the boundary throw in. Tap one by Burton. Hurry kick out of the congestion from Shea. Got it the half forward. Good mark taken there by Griffiths. He's been quiet. Wheels onto the right boot. Billy Griffiths, top of the square. Players fall like dominoes. And numbers back. Four Melda South is Jake Thornton Gill and he's kicked wide to the back pockets to Sharp. Creates the runner there in Pendlebury. Left foot kick along the line. Needs to sit okay for Curtis. 
Oh, he kept it in, Curtis. Didn't need to do that because Cobras have got the numbers. Pressure from the youngsters. Good, though. Got to get out of here, though. Surely the Cobras through Bartlett. Kick smothered. Yeah, that's a win there for the Panthers. Yeah, big win for the Panthers there. Not one bloke actually said a word in that passage of play between three of them. Oh, I did. Yeah, you did, and they didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne South 26 lead back of Smash 19 near seven minutes gone second turn there's the throw in Burton with streak just Ragdoll is a part of there in Drans went and threw the ball onto the boot only as far as Pendlebury on half back chance for the Panthers with a turnover got it to Chapman awkward looking right foot kick goes in the direction of Callis clean bowls him falls into the hands of Christoph Christopher Christopher he plays with South Melbourne Hallis Christoph well he would have been Christoph if he didn't get a free kick there as he goes short, the kick's OK to Nick Stildryer. On half-back, defensive 50 out of side of the ground. He weighs up the options. Panthers pushing back, keeps the kick Good. low. It's OK to German. Right-hand hand pass was OK. Found Bartlett in the middle of the ground. Did that kick from Nick Stildryer. Bartlett's been OK. Right foot kick gets towards half forward. LaFranchi, a mile away from defence as we normally know him for. Nick Stildry with the run. Good Open night. goal. Reward for work rate right? as Nick Stildry kicks. The Cobra's third goal of the afternoon. He's second. And they're back within a point. Well, you know, all, all through Nick Stildry, like he's had three possessions in that episode of play, Todd, and, you know... Um, Good on him to finish off and, and kick the goal. You know, he, he, he's possibly, you know, our best on the ground at the po this point of time. Yeah, being very uh, influential as LaFranchi pushing forward. Runs off the ground for a well-deserved break, pushing forward out of the uh, defensive half as we've, we've known him for, and uh, he helps he helps set up that uh, play to uh, Nick Stool Drive to do the finishing off. Two blokes could have raffled it there, LaFranchi. They're still dry. Again, hand pass to an open outer side centre wing. King does the mopping up. Ordinary Aaron hand pass brings Fino into the play. But they're forced to do it hard here as the umpire's picked out a free kick. It's going to go back. It's going to go to Bacchus Marsh. It's going to go to German. Gets around one-ish. And then, oh, just tackles his kick, but got enough on it and found Owen and took a second grab mark in front of Leggett. Weighing up the options is Owen. He's told to play on by the umpire. Under the non-preferred left, out wide. Callis leads into the race for the ball Good with pace. Didn't have to break stride. Right foot kick found his brother. And uh, the brother there in David on centre wing. Kick in board to Sullivan on the second grab. Covers just had to get a hand on that footy. As Sullivan's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, no, he's uh, got a bit of a knee there, Todd. Kick there from Callis is smothered. Chance there for White. He's bailed up. They're forced to concede ground here. Oh, with strength there was Lloyd. Right foot kick inside 50. Chance here for Burton. He's pushed back. And he'll take the mark. Waste no time playing on. Long penetrative left foot kick out wide towards Owen. I'll tell you what, kick that like a midfielder. Beautiful left foot kick there from Owen. Found Griffiths combined by hand. Back to Owen. Goes in the Willens direction. Getting back Thornton Gillen. Couldn't take the mark. Chance here for Willens. Dropped the ball like a hot spot. And he's back turn to the umpire. He didn't see it. So he's forced to go with the second option. And that is a ball up 15 metres out from the Cobra goal. Yeah, they were in the van there, the Marsh, you know, uh, Willits, Kane, Dixon. Um, but, uh, just couldn't hold on to that mark, Aaron. Yeah, there's the ball up, tap one by Dransman. Bit of a stacks on the mill here, chance for Curtis. Cop one high, trip actually. Couldn't have got any lower. Don't know why I went high. Yeah, and going to And 50. 50. German. And going to reverse it. And going to reverse it. And just reversed it. Can you believe it? The big fella, Dransman. Has uh, tripped German over what looked like. Well, he fell on him before. Well, a match of trips. And uh, Fairly can be the only one tripping at the moment is uh, the big fella uh, Pendlebury on the mark. He'd be disappointed with that. Well, Curtis on the mark. Pendlebury disappointed. German goes back. Now, their goals you don't want to cough up in a low-scoring game here at the Melton Rec Reserve. Back as far as now. Hit the front. They're 4-7-31. As the playing coach kicks his first goal of the afternoon. Melton South 4 2 26. Well, you work so hard and you know, like you battle, and then you know, you win a free kick, and then just stupidity. Um, I don't know, just they, people just have they, some of these players just have brain fades, Todd. And you know, um, mm. they, there's no bravery in knocking someone down when they're going to pick the footy up. Or? Well, that would have. You know, you know what it's like here at Belton South. I mean, you give away 50 and that just in defence and that just about gets you to half forward. It's Conway with strength. 
Brute Strength takes one tackle on, takes another. Sends the ball inside 50. How's the response here from the Panthers? Punched away there by the Cobras defence. Here's a chance now for Sullivan. And he's recovered, hurried right from kick across the body. Juggled by Waddell. Looked like something out of a circus there for a moment there, Waddell, but he took the mark of the end and got the uh, Cobras out of trouble. Got it towards Christopher. Low right foot kick from Schwarzenberg along the line. Couldn't find Porter and went over the line for a boundary throwing. Cobras out of trouble, but it wasn't pretty, Fridge. No, nah, well, Tom had a soda there. It fell on his chest. You would have thought he would have swallowed it with his mouth the way it came in. Boundary throw in. Out of side, centre wing. Tap one by Burton once again. Chance here for... Lloyd with the right foot kick inside 50 or 40 here at Melton South for whatever better term. Well Keeping his feet there was Christopher. A free kick downfield. Yeah, but it'll be... No, going back to Christopher, Todd. Yeah, yeah going back the three metres that it went forward. And Christopher now, well, out of sight of the ground. Well, somehow it's not... He, he's going down the ground, is he? Parente. He was that close to him down the ground. He's handed him the footy. As he switches play to Wardell, he's got Wood behind him. The kick had to be good. I don't know why they do this at Melton South. The ground's too small, really. But uh, they've, got, oh, they've got one out here. If Bartlett can get it over the top, with all his experience, Parente. kick to Parente. <laughs> he's going to cop a cheeky little trip there from Curtis as he gave the hand pass over towards Hughes. He went inside 50. Players set themselves. Good defensive forward effort there from Griffiths. Ball at ground level. Who wants it? Willits gathers. Hurried hand pass in the Schwarzenberg direction. Ball still at ground level. Parente trying to crash through the young. So he's bowed up. Taken to the ground. The umpire says, I'll have it. There'll be a ball up. 40 metres there from the Cobra goal. It's been a bit more lively, uh, uh, Billy Griffiths, in these uh, last couple of minutes. Todd, you know, uh, at some stage he's got to pluck one and, and go back and get one. Tap one by Burton. Hold on. Only as far as Lloyd, his kick was smothered. Griffiths had a chance to gather. It was uh, dispossessed, couldn't take it cleanly. Sullivan over the ball. He too dispossessed. Follow-up work was kicked from Griffiths. Cross the face of goal. Chance here for Owen. Will it sit for him? It does, but he's tackled by Leggett. Managed to get a hand pass clear to Porter. Could have been held with that at the end. The umpire let it go. And Pendlebury on the last line of defence. Takes the mark for Melton South. Solid, isn't he, Todd? Pendlebury? Yeah, yeah. And Fennick, he's a third of the size of the point post, so he's, he's quite a tall lad. Yep. But the point pass aren't real, aren't real long here at Mountain South, I tell you. There's the square kick for Thornton Gearley. Defensive 50, Sullivan takes the mark, gives it to Pendlebury. Laconic style, left foot outside, centre wing. Out. Over me. Chance here for uh, the Panthers through Olsen. Left foot kick to the attacking 50, waiting at the back. Reading it well was Conway. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Goalless in the opening half at the moment. The Panthers spearhead. And an opportunity beckons for him to get the Panthers back in front. They trail by five points. The Cobras a 4-7-31. Melton South 4-2-26. Near 15 minutes gone. Second turn. Yeah, good long kick into the deep, you know, uh, 50. And uh, obviously uh, Conway waiting at the back. And... Uh, Reach the benefit and takes a mark. Yeah, the big the names combining there. Pendlebury, Olsen and now Conway. Coast to coast. Let's see if the Panthers can convert. Conway will have a shot. Right on 40. Kicks on its way. They like it, the players. Cheers of approval. Panthers back in front here. Seesawing affair here at Melton Rec Reserve. Game on in earnest. Stick with us. BFL game day. Apple Money 8.5 FM. It's the Panthers 32 who lead back at Smash 31. Like, uh, like transitional football again, Todd, you know, from, you know, half-back flank, you know, and then deep, long kick in the forward 50. And, you know, you give your forwards a chance when you when you go deep and long instead of trying to pivot passes. And, you know, some of these guys are, aren't, aren't that well-skilled that they can do that. First goal of the afternoon for Conway. Let's put the Panthers back in front. Ball up in the middle of the ground. Tap one by Dransman as Martin spends a bit of time in the ruck. King out of the middle. Kick smothered. Fell back into his hands fortuitously. Hand pass out wide towards Porter. Went without it. Sped it before he had it. King did the follow-up work. Was good. Take it to the ground. And the umpire surely not. Oh, no. Oh, He's played no. holding the ball. And Michael Callis will go short to Wyatt. To Lloyd. Right foot kick to the outer side. Half forward. Pretty ordinary kick. 
because the Cobras have got the numbers. They'll do the mopping up through Bartlett. Oh, hit that uh, turnover. Over to Kavarik. Shot on goal. Puts it through. Something out of nothing for the Panthers. And they get to a seven-point lead. 16 and a half minutes gone, second term. Well, I don't know what Ryan Bartlett's errant handball there it was sloppy. And, you know, like, it should be better than that. Like, very, very sloppy football, Ryan Bartlett. You know, um, it... Inexcusable. Yeah, they had the no numbers pressure. there. They There's had the no numbers. pressure at all, Todd. They had the numbers there on halfback. Uh, the Cobras, they just made a meal of that. Could and, have raffled uh, it. Yep, and uh, Kamarik, out of nowhere. Got the chocolates. Tap, one by Dransman. That's two out of two out of the middle since Burton's had a spell. Ball over to White, who got it to Lloyd. Outside to the attacking 50 in the Olsen direction. Cobras have got numbers. They'll get out of here with... Uh, Good handball, right foot kick, out wide, look at Porter, all on his own. That was an excellent kick out of defence, as Porter's left foot, tumbling kick was ordering, cut off by Pendlebury. Pendlebury with ball in hand, will go short of the outer side to Lloyd. Had a bit of it, Billy Lloyd, right foot kick, that's a better one from him, finds Callis. Didn't have to break stride, marked on the chest, Chick, kick over the top to Wood. Takes the mark in front of Martin, keeps the ball low. Could have been a free kick against Conway. The umpire let it go. Chance here for the Cobras through Shea. Hand pass. Got it to Porter. He went by hand. That was a bit sloppy, but uh, was okay in the edge. Wartenberg had taken. And there'll be a free kick. And it's going to go to the youngster in Fino. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal here. Some, some silly little errors here, Todd. You know, mistakes that are creeping into the game. Um... I don't know what Schwartz was waiting for, but he, he had the option to give it back to Porter if he wanted to. Um, uh, well, second guess, just kick. And I think if you if you want to be having a shot on goal here at Melton South today, where Fino is taking his kick on goal is about where you want to be. So he set sail for the judge. Yes. But he's uh, taken the advice of the Coppers in the opening term and missed off to the right for a minor score. 6-3-39, Melton South. If you've just joined us, Packers Marsh, 4-7-31. Eight-point lead to the Panthers. Near 19 minutes gone, second term. Out the Cobras come, out of defence. Kick from Christoph was good at the back. Oh, nice, nah. take, nice contested mark taken there by Bartlett. They just pushed the youngster Curtis off the footy. That's he's better. Gonna be an all, he's going to be a very important player for the Cobras going forward this year. As he goes short, kicks okay to Dixon. Dixon with ball in hand. True centre wing, social club side of the ground. Short kicks okay to Schwarzenberg right in front of us here. Can weigh up the options. Should go into the Owen direction where the kick's been cut off by Sullivan. He's got time to get it to Lloyd. Keeps the ball low, kicks good to Curtis. The youngster from the Jets onto the preferred left foot. They've got numbers here through Theo. Left foot kick the Panthers inside 50. Conway on the lead. Oh, Excellent Belden. ball there from Belden. Conway kept his feet though. Inbound hand pass. Got it back to Theo. He's bowled up by Blundell. His hand pass was Aaron to Hughes. He just threw the ball under the boot. Chance of Pendlebury. He's tackled. Got a hand pass away to Callis. Inboard towards Fino. Back to Callis. Right foot kick to the top of the square. Who's it over the Panthers? Conway is if you don't mind. No, it wasn't Conway actually. It's Olsen. And then Olsen will go back and have a shot on goal from point blank range. Don't miss. Just a height advantage there. Deep forward. And the Panthers, a chance to extend on their eight-point lead here. Yeah, walk in the park there for anybody. Puts it through, and Melton South have their game-high lead of 15 points. 20 minutes gone, second term. They're 7 3 the Panthers. Back at March 4 7 31. Well, you know, the Panthers are applying all the pressure in this quarter, Todd. You know, um, harassing, you know, uh, doing all the right things. You know, they're persistent. Um, back of Smash, just make silly errors. You know, cost them and, you know, uh, you know they've got to be better at that. Goal kickers for Melton South. Wood has two, one each to Olsen, Wyatt, Conway, Kavarik and Curtis. Most of those goals coming on the back of turnover too, Fridge. Backus Marsh will be disappointed with that. Their scorers, Nick Stuldry has two, Willits one, German one. And Jake Owen has four behinds. There's the ball up. Ball goes 
Back is smart side of the contest as Germans hand pass only went as far as Martin Hughes got through two. Right foot kick keeps it low. Wanting uh, the free kick there was Owen for the chop. The umpire called play on Pendlebury. Right hand hand pass was okay. Got the ball over towards uh, Morrissey who clears for uh, the Panthers. But just waiting at home is the Cobras. Short kick's okay. They can slow it up here. Martin. Well, not preferred. That's an understatement. That left footer here. So I tell you what, there's an opportunity here for the Panthers who have got numbers to get out of trouble. I'll go boundary side, but still try. Covering ground. Did well. As the uh, uh, Cobras go forward to Willits. Just set up. Floated kick. And was beautifully read there by Mepstead. He switched kick was okay. Found Chapman right in front of the social club. You never drop those. Right foot kick's good to White. Marked in front of LaFranchi. They got their tails up here, Panthers. Conway's the target. Waddell, well, he was uh, taken under the ball there. Olsen by uh, Waddell did well. Ball at ground level at the back. Chance here for... Might have been Shea, in fact, he got it to Wardell. Strong hand pass, but put Nick still dry under the pump. Managed to get hand to ball. Sharkwell by German. Inside 50. Go the uh, Cobras, but uh, I tell you what, Dransman, the ball went straight through his hands. I thought it was a mark behind, but uh, I think it must have been touched. And uh, Mipstead feeling a bit unlucky there as there'll be a ball up right in front of the Cobra goal, about 15 to 20 metres out. Elms out 45, lead. Marcus Marsh, 31. There's the ball up. Tap one by Burton. Mepstead doing the mobbing up. Got it to Lloyd. Left foot kick. In the Curtis direction. Martin at the back. Couldn't take the mark. Still dry. Went to ground. Chance here for Thornton Gillen. Just short onto the left boot. Coppers have got numbers. Callis did well to affect the spoil. And then held without it was Wood. It was just thrown out of the contest. Still outnumbered here. The Panthers. But... Uh, the umpire's going to come in and affect the ball up. Win there for the Panthers. Stoppage attacking side of centre wing, um, social club side of the ground. Yeah, they'll be happy with, you know, creating a stoppage, you know, for the next, you know, two or three minutes. You know, slow the game down. Burton, on repeat, wins the tap. Got it to still drive. We've said that quite a bit already this afternoon. Touch. Just that hack kick there from Hughes was touched and he fell in the uh, hands of Callis. Still drives, hurried right foot kick. Gets inside 50. Reading it well was Griffiths. Got it on the fly. Didn't break stride. Selfish. Pot shot on the goals. Missed everything out of bounds. On the full. Cobras 31. Trail Mountain South 45. Near 24 minutes gone. Second term. Ball comes back into play. Kick one of the kick was pretty ordinary. Shea just got a fist on it. Chance here for Wyatt. Oh, oh, Over the football there was uh was German. Hands up with the football ball in hand on uh, no. attacking side of centre wing. Chance here for Valden who's dispossessed. Wyatt kept his foot, did well, got it to Conway. Outside of the right boot, went out of the direction there, avoided sits for him. It does. Goes deep into attack now. One on one. Oh, set at the back. Couldn't quite take the mark. Ball goes to ground level. LaFranchi will do the mobbing up for the Cobras in his own time if you don't mind kick was excellent to Shea in the middle got it to German right foot kick out wide towards Willits coast to coast if you don't mind and the Coppers will be happy they're on the right end of that got a transition of play there a lot cleaner there Todd now Willits he's kicked one already nine shy of his feet here in 2019 when he kicked ten but now uh, you'd back him from here they need this one the Coppers Distance won't be a problem. No hope. Accuracy will. Off to the right. Minus score. 4 8. Back of Smash. 32. Trail Mountain South. 7 3 45. 13 point lead of the Panthers. Tick over 25 minutes gone. Second term. That was a bit better build up by the Cobras then, Todd. You know, uh, use the footy a lot cleaner and a lot better then. Lloyd goes short. Finds Jake Thornton Gielen, who marks. Front of German. The next kick's the one. Kick's okay to Lloyd. He'll weigh up the options. Go short. Again to Wyatt. Back to Lloyd. Left foot out wide. Chance here for Curtis at ground level. Couldn't pick it up. Kept it in front of him. Over the footy there was Morrissey. Taken to the ground. The umpire says, I'll have it. He'll pull it up. True centre wing out of sign of the ground. It just metres in front of us here in the commentary box. It's the Panthers 45 to lead. Back of Smash 32. Near 26 minutes gone, second turn, the ball up. Neither Ruck would gain any ascendancy. Shea's been good. Got the hand pass to Schwarzenberg. Tumbling kick good was hands. made look better by King, who marked it on true half forward. He should, shot. he should indeed. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure that 
50 metre line is a 50. Grab it, Millen, who's adjacent to us here in the commentary box. He'd know how far that uh, that arc is. It's not 50, so we got we got the knot. Distance won't be a problem from King. Right on the corner of half forward. Kicks on its way. Off to the left. Thumped through by Pendlebury for a minor score. Back of Smarsh. 4-9-33 now. Melton South, 7-3-45. Two goal advantage to the home side. Apple 98.5 FM. Match of the round. Pendlebury indecisive. Goes short. Kicks okay. Thornton Gillen with ball in hand. The speak of Will. Of course, he's going to ignore his brother short. As he'll go along the line. Goes in the direction there of Fino. He couldn't take the mark. Falls into the hands of uh, the big fella there in Dransman. Triantula. And the umpire says, I'll have it. He'll ball it up. Tick over 27 minutes gone in this second term. It's Melton South, who lead by 12 points. Ball up. Tap one by Burton. And as far as Lloyd, tackled by Porter, given an eternity by the umpire to get rid of it. Then he got the ball towards Curtis, tumbling torpedo towards Conway. Body work was good. Got the hand pass to Olsen. Two of their A-graders combining. Kick out wide, goes in towards the uh, direction of... Could be Wyatt there now forward, is it? It is indeed. Right foot trick across the body. Out wide there, looking towards Kavarik. Will it sit for him? Copper's reinforcements in numbers. Overwhelm the uh, offense of the Panthers as they get out of trouble here through German. Drop the ball. The umpire said, you did too, son. The siren sounds. Game in the balance here at Melton Rec Reserve. It's the home side, the Panthers, trying to get their first win of season 2021 in round number three and overwhelm their bogey side. Back of Smarsh, who have had their way with the Panthers over the last five meetings, averaging a 70-point loss. But I'll tell you what, there's certainly none of that going on here this afternoon. It's Melton Rick Reserve for the third term of Apple 98.5 FM. BFL game days, the siren sounds to get play underway. It's Melton South, they lead by 12 points. There's the ball up, tap one by Burt and went to stool dry, couldn't gather. Hurry kick of no real advantage by German. The umpires picked out a free kick. Dixon. It's going to go to the Cobras. It'll go to Dixon. Match up Pendlebury with King. Todd. So how are they going to use the footy going forward? They've been a bit lost here, the Cobras. It was a sprayed kick under pre- um, without any pressure. Fino did well, the youngster. Got the hand pass away from Burton. They've got numbers here, the Panthers, just inside the boundary line through Notman. Right foot kick there from White was cut off there by Wardell. Hand pass back to Dixon. Can he make him in? So that errant kick previous, he does. Effective hand pass was okay to Bartlett. He found King in the middle of the ground. He's wanting players to push to the uh, social club side of the ground. And Willits takes a nice mark 40 metres out from goal. And you'd think uh, scoreboard pressure from Willits and Jay Gowan will influence this uh, outcome in the second half, Rich. Well, Todd, that's that's typically the way you know this game has got to be played. You know, no good muckering around with the footy, lowering your eyes deep inside 50 onto a lead, and you know the result will be if he kicks his goal, and it's straight. Uh, no, it's veered off. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, just off to the right for a minor score. It's the Cobras' tenth behind of the afternoon over the scoring in this third turn. They're four ten thirty four back as much. They trail Melton South seven three. 45. Ball comes back into play. Left foot kick from Pendlebury. Goes in the Curtis direction. Couldn't take the mark. Ball at ground level. Coppers have got numbers, but it falls Panther side. Clever hand pass from Curtis. Got it towards Sharp. Tumbling right foot kick. Made it difficult for LaFranchi. Coppers have got numbers. Uh-huh. Christoph gets another leg spinner. Uh, right would rival warns uh, Ash's bowl of the century, if you don't mind. Ball heading out towards the boundary line and Veldon's helped over with the footy and uh, will receive a free kick. 25 metres around from the Panthers' goal and the veteran, Veldon. It looks like he's got the job on Olsen in this third term. We'll bring the ball back into play. Yeah, well, he's uh, done a very good job on Conway. So uh, I think Tom's identified that uh, Olsen going forward. Yep. Goes into the Owen direction, cut off by Pendlebury. The wheel and go onto the left boot, drives the ball deep into attack. It's almost got the journey. It has, if you don't mind. Pendlebury kicks a goal. And Melton South kicked the opening goal of this third term. Took them tick under two and a half minutes. Took them 12 seconds to open their account in the second term, if you don't mind. 
but some separation. A game high, 17 point lead of the Panthers. They're 8 3 51. They lead Bacchus Marsh for 10 34. Panthers here seem to be able to, you know, you know, like, you know, very quick ball movement, Todd. The Panthers today, um, you know, and it's, it's resulted in a good result for them, you know, uh, and good decision making too. Middle of the ground, Burton won the tap when looking for still dryer, reading it well. There was uh, the, the big fella there in Dransman, could have given away a free kick. The umpire said no, bit of a stacks on the mill. Repeat effort there from the big fella was good. There'll be a ball up right in the middle of the ground here. Melbourne South 8 3 51, lead back of Smash 4 10. 34. Three minutes gone, third term. Shea with clever tap to German. Left foot kick towards half forward. And the mark's been taken there by Mepstead. They're a bit plain through the middle of the ground, the Cobras. They, they lack a bit of league speed. So kick comes out wide towards the social club centre wing. Knocking the ball forward there was Christoph. He was lucky that stayed in. He would have been penalised, you would have thought, as Jake Thornton Gillen with the right foot goes along the line in the Curtis direction. Got two to beat. Bartlett went to ground. The youngster Lahuray was hopeful more than anything else, trying to get the ball back to Bar. The chance of wood inboard hair pass was okay to Notman. Sets it up towards uh, that. That would have been uh, Olsen, but coming in from nowhere would have been Fino. Open goal to the youngster, and he's put it through. Panthers on top here at Melton Rec Reserve. This game out to 23 points. 9 3 57 Melton South. Back as March 4 10 34. Warning signs coming up now, Tom, Todd, you know, for German and his boys. Um, and they need to get the next one desperately. It's an understatement. Well, they need to do something. They, 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 you, they've just come out in the second half and positionally from the outside, they look very much the same. There's the ball up. Tap one by Burton. We've said that often enough. Wyatt over the ball. Pressure from German was good. Whistle him in it. There'll be a ball up. 57 Melton South who kicked the opening two goals of this third turn. They lead by 23 points. <coughs> Here's the ball up. Tap one by. Well, we'll give it to Burton. When in doubt, might have even been Curtis who came over the top there. But the umpire says, I'll have it. There'll be a repeat stoppage right in the middle of the ground. After the first 15 minutes of the uh, first quarter, uh, Melton have sort of Melton South have dominated this game with transitional footy pressure. You know they just seem to be a bit quicker at the moment. Burton stumped a half forward was excellent. Owen's hand pass was uh, cut off at the end. Bit of a turnover opportunity here for Chapman with speed. Non preferred left across the body, waiting under kick for Wood and was well read there by Bartlett who had momentum took a nice overhead mark. Defensive 50. He's been solid, Todd. Yep, goes wide, kicks okay to still dryer. He's their best at the moment. So the Cobras continue to make the ground bigger than what it is as they get continue to go wide and along the line. Still dryer's tumbling kick goes in the shade direction at the back. Couldn't take the mark. Uh, Panthers keep their feet through Lloyd. He got it to Pendlebury. His hair pass was ordinary. Cut off there by Owen. Chance of Parente juggling footy. Ball at ground level. Whistle him in it. He'll come in, pull it up. Half forward out of the side of the ground for the Coppers, who trail by 23 points. Just back a smash. Everything they seem to be doing is, is very messy, Todd. You know, there's no, no fluency about their play at the moment. Chance out of the stoppage here for uh, Lloyd for the Panthers. They've just done well to keep their feet under pressure, Melton South. This one is thrown over the boundary line for a boundary throw-in. Looks like the umpire was going to pay a free kick there. He rushed in there like there was something going on, but uh, he's afforded the boundary umpire the luxury of bringing the ball back into play as Burton sets himself, grabs it out of the ruck, kicks the ball high up and under. Went 30 metres up, 30 metres down. Surprise, surprise. Could have been a free kick there to the Cobras. The umpire said no. Curtis has been good. Hand pass forward to the attacking side of centre wing. Gathered there by Conway. Conway conceded some ground with a hand pass. Was OK to the big fellow there in transfer. He went back to Jake Thornton Gearland. Kicks OK, finds Lloyd. Seems to be a bit of a designated kicker on halfback for the Panthers. Former Port Melbourne and St Kevin's player. Mm-hmm. Ball comes back towards the outer side centre wing. Cut off there by Parente. Left foot kicks good. That's better from the Cobras. Now let's see what King does with his kick. Willits on the lead. Comes out. Takes it. Now he needs to go back and have a pot shot at the goals. 
but at least you'd think there'd be a Cobra pushing forward just to give a small option, take a little bit more gas out of the Panthers' defence fridge. Yes, uh, he needs to convert this, Aaron, um, just to get a bit of momentum back, and I think he's missed as well. Off to the right story of the day for everybody that's had a shot from uh, the member side, social club side, whichever way you want to put it. <coughs> Especially from set shots. The Cobras, 4 11 35. Trail Melton South, 9 3 57. 22 point advantage to the Panthers. So the ball will come back into play from Lloyd. Good kick. Long right foot kick. Have a look at that. It's an absolute beauty. Olsen with ball in hand. You can tell a left footer from a mile away as he squares the kick to true half back to Thornton Geelan. D2 has been okay in the back half. Can go short. Kicks okay from Theo. Goes looking there towards Morrissey. But they're under the pump here. Not sure whether that was the right kick in the end as uh, Willens gets around one, two. Tries to get around a third. Doesn't. Has to give the hand pass. Slow hand pass from Shea. Owen uh, throws the ball onto the boot who goes wide with the kick. And even if the Cobras did end up with that footy there, they're still too wide, Fridge. Yeah, they're just not being direct, Todd. They just, I don't know why they want to use the, the outer side of the, both sides of the ground. Why not straight down the ground? Fastest oh. way home, seriously. Thornton, Ke uh, Geelan's kick was intercepted by Burton. Ended up in the hands of Porter. He went wide to the opposite pocket on this occasion. Ball bouncing on in over the line for a boundary throw in out in front of the Griffiths. Four white posts at the end of the ground there for the, for the Coppers. They should just start having a Pot shot at those, if you don't mind, as Burton just grabs that out of the ruck, tried to take my advice, but was dispossessed as Thornton Gill and uh, kick gained about eight or nine metres. Porter was good there. Hand pass to Belden. Could have caught one high, the umpire agreed. Now let's see how this forward entry kick from the Cobras goes. This is the one that's been letting them down in the last two quarters. They go short and wide again. So ball with King. Right foot kick, squaring kick in the Willits direction. Got sets it. himself and takes the mark. He's looking dangerous, Willits. Yeah, no, he's uh, had the last three inside 53, last shot, set shots on goal, Todd, and just needs to capitalise on this one. It's an understatement. I've said it three times. Yeah. yeah, well, let's just hope it's not all chips in with Willits going forward. Can get a bit predictable, but uh, if he keeps clucking those marks... He set sail for the judge. You wouldn't believe it. He's a bit like your uh, golf game at the moment, Fridge. He slices another one off to the right for a, yeah, he's a he's minor score. Tried to kick that one with the wood. Back of Smash 4, 12, 36. If you don't mind, Melton South, 3, 9, 3, 57. And Melton South not made to pay with this dominant possession. By the Cobras. The kick in was ordinary, but it was marked by Veldon in the middle of the ground. His short kick was okay. Got it to Porter on half forward. Wheels and goes. Goes out wide looking towards Parente, who marks just inside the boundary line. Well, deep in the pocket. Panthers will be happy with that. Keeps the ball low looking towards King. Had to be sharp there. More like a sharp gully catch, but couldn't take it off hands over the line for a boundary throw in. 36 back at Smash Trail, Melton South, 57. There's the throw in. Oh, Owen was just pushed out of the way. The umpire called play on. Stiff not to get a free kick. Right. Willits across the body. Dribbling ball gets to adjacent to the behind post as Lloyd does the mopping up. Gets the ball towards Theo. Now, let's see how Melton South go about negotiating their way out of the defence. Kick goes towards Olsen. He goes to Thup. Good defensive pressure there from... Uh, the Panthers midfielder, but at ground levels, Dixon, hurried right foot kick, Pat goes across uh, towards half forward, and there's Owen. Now, Owen needs to correct this inaccurate nature, shooting for goal that the Cobras have adopted this afternoon. They're 4 12 36, if you don't mind. And they've had all the play in this third quarter. And despite Melton South kicking a couple of uh, early goals, all the play's been in their forward half for the last six or seven minutes. For no reward. So let's see how Owen goes from here. Shouldn't be a problem for a man of this ability. Sets out for the judge. This time he's off to the left. <clears throat> 
Just can't hit the green in regulation at all. Back of Smash this afternoon. They're 4 13 37. They trail back of Smash 9. Uh, they trail Melton South 9 3 57. It's 20 points, if you don't mind, as Lloyd brings the ball back into play. The kick's good. Chance here for the Cobras to keep going forward. Left foot kick from Thorne to Gillen. It's a risky one, but it's okay. Mepstead had to wait under it for long enough. It's the switch on in earnest here towards Sharp. Kick wide. This is unlike the Panthers have been this afternoon, but uh, they've had to do so here. They've had to try something different. Morrissey kick along the line was okay to Callis. LaFranchi numbers for Val through the Cobras. That's a hopeful kick more than anything else. It's trying to be, to be a lot cute. of purpose there as... Well, German took the mark. They've got weighted numbers around the contest here, the Cobras. Goes on to his non-preferred. And Owen takes an opportunistic crab. Going to ground and takes a mark on the chest. 35 metres out from goal. 45 degree angle. Might be sixth time lucky here. He's got five behinds on the board, Owen. And Owen will have a shot, 45 degree angle. <clears throat> right in front of us here, Fridge, he'll walk into goal on a 45 degree angle. He should be able to steer this one through, mate. And uh, with this, maybe steer him into the family with even more welcoming arms. I'm, I'm for the electrical pole here, Todd. <laughs> so Owen, shot on goal, goes away from us. Better. Distance That's not a in. problem. That Look at that. In. What do I say? Yep, six time lucky. Well done. And the electrical pole, son. <laughs> yep, he's done well. Back at Smash close within 14 points. They're 5 13, 43, the Cobras. Mel South, 9 3 57. Speaker bang for your buck. Back at Smash, 18 shots on goal. Melton South, 12. And it's still the Panthers who lead by 14. Yes. Um, scoreboard, you know, pressure like 5 13, you know, 18 scoring shots. To uh, to twelve Todd. It's not like they've all been rushed either. No, no, and they're, they're like half a dozen of them have been set shots that that were quite gettable. Now let's see if the Cobras can deny the Panthers that quick response. Conway got that out of the middle from the tap from Burton, and I tell you what, Hughes was very unlucky not to be paid the mark there, and he's back turned to the umpire, and the umpire went with the benefit of the doubt to his own judgment. And balled it up. Schwarzenberger sh sh shark the ball well. Left foot kick out wide. Martin wants a friendly bounce. He got it. He tackled, bowed up. Just handballed the ball out of bounds. A player decides to call it a boundary throw in. <clears throat> 57 Melton South lead back as March 43. 15 and a half minutes gone. Third term. There's the throw in. Burton, excellent use of the body. Forgot to grab the footy in the end as it just hit him in the head for a fal falcon, if you don't mind. So they break from the congestion. Thornton Gillen got it to Sullivan, went to Curtis, kept his feet, got some separation on Hughes. Ball sat well for the youngster. That's reward for just doing so. Left foot kick in the Chapman direction. Couldn't take the mark. Chance here for Veldon, who's bailed up. Right up in the defensive goal square as Bartlett knocks the ball out wide towards the boundary line. They'll be looking to fight at the Cobras, they do. And there'll be a boundary throwing him out. Nine or ten metres around from the Melton South goal. Probably a little bit lucky to not, not get scored against here, Todd. You know, they uh, had numbers for the footy, Melton. There's the throw in. Burton grabs it out of the ruck. Just somehow got rid of the football. Also wanting a free kick for being held. So too did the crowd, but the umpire said, I'll let it go. Right foot kick out of the congestion for Blundell. Went in the Owen direction. Not paid the mark, said the umpire. And then the players, not the only ones getting tired here this afternoon. Probably a mark there, Fridge. Oh, free kick. Don't mean, don't mean to be biased, but it was all over like, like a cheap suit. There's the ball up. Tap one by Burton. Knocked it goal side. Was good oh, to Shea. His hair pass was too cute. Intercepted there by Lloyd. German second effort was good. Got it back to Shea. What can he do with this kick? Goes in board looking towards Owen. Takes the mark uncontested. Must go back and kick a goal. Don't play on some. I think uh, Grant McMillan identified Morrissey as being a very, very loose checking here and he's giving Owen heaps of latitude, heaps of latitude. Well, Pritchard rolling the dice with Morrissey on Owen. Let's see whether uh, that goes on for, for much longer if Owen's able to convert his second goal here in just a few minutes. 9-3-57 Melton South lead. Back of Smash. 5 13 43. 
Owen can close the margin to within eight. Kick from 40 on its way. Make no mistake. Owen's got two and the Cobras have got six. They're within eight points. They're 6 13 49. They trail Melton South 9 3 57. The quicker you get it in, the better chance of you know, giving your forwards a chance of uh, clunking a mark and going back and get, get a reward. 9357 Mountain South, back as much 61349. Just uh, keep an eye on that matchup with Owen. They they seem to get it right in the uh, the opening half. There's the ball up back in the middle of the ground. It's Burton who won the chap looking for Schwarzenberg at ground level. German cheeky kick out of the middle, out of the congestion. Went in the direction of the end of the Owen. Looks like Mepstead's on him now. Mepstead went to ground, was pushed by Owen. The umpire's given a free kick against the Cobras captain. And Mepstead with ball in hand will get the Panthers out of trouble who are under the pump in the last five or so minutes. Kick went out towards Chapman and went over the head of he and Christopher over the line for a boundary throw in. True centre wing position out of sight of the ground. Near 19 minutes gone, third term. It's Melton South who lead Bacchus Marsh by eight points. Throw in. Favours Burton. He can take as long as he likes to decide where he wants to put the football, but he gave it to King. He got it to Schwarzenberg. Grubby kick. Didn't make enough of that. It was pretty ordinary. Ended up in the designated kicker hands of the uh, Panthers player there in Lloyd. Oh. Got the ball towards half forward, but it was well read there by Hughes. Nervous kick found Bartlett laterally. Travelled the required distance barely. He's going to go backwards to Belden. Defensive goal square here. They want to be good here. Melton South quite happy to concede the wide ball. Good mark. And good uh, mark. Christopher takes a nice mark overhead in front of there of Chapman. On half back for the Cobras. Kick goes along the line. Looking here towards Arwen. Takes the mark on the chest. In front of Mepstead. Arwen goes short. Oh. Kick gathered on the half volley there by Wyatt. Made look uh, better than what it was. Now that's been a turnover kick. As Lahuray on the defensive 50. Takes the mark. Squaring kick to Bartlett. Goes wide again. Velden had to stop in his tracks and go back and mark the footy overhead. Right foot kick was okay. Oh, to Hughes, who dropped what he should have taken, but bounced favourably back into his hands. Right foot kick's okay, and the youngster Dottomay takes the mark. Defensive side, out of side, centre wing. Back as fast, enjoying the most amount of the footballers they have for the nice. afternoon. Excellent kick. Got it to Lafranchi. Right foot kick out wide to Nick, Dixon. Nick, Nick. Needs to expose his uh, running ability. As wheels and goes Dixon. Goes into the woods. The other direction was too much for him. Ball at ground level. Kick across the body from Parente. Misses to the left. Minus score. Pressing the Cobras. They're within seven. They're 6 14 50. They trail Melton South. 9 3 57. Ball movements a lot quicker now, Todd. By the Devil, by the uh, pan, uh, the uh, Cobras, I should say. Pressure on the Lloyd kick as it comes out of defence and Burton takes the mark for Bacchus Marsh. On half forward, too far out to score. Goes in the Griffiths direction. Willett sets himself, couldn't take the mark. Ball falls to him. Will he hand ball? Yes, he does. Gets the still drier. 45 out. Hand pass over to German who gave it further afield towards Donovan. Kick across the body. Teeth of goal. Players set themselves. It's a mark taken on the last line by Thornton Gillen. And the Panthers... Pressing the mass. They are pressing now, Todd. Game on in earnest here. 21 and a half minutes gone. Third term. Will Thornton Gillen penetrating left foot kick. Got the numbers here out wide to uh, the Cobras. They can raffle it as Hughes gathers the footy. Bit of a rough hand pass. Got it over towards Owen. Kick to half forwards. Okay. Only footy he's wasted was here in the wing here, Owen, before. On half forward, the youngster, Dottomay, with ball in hand again. He's had a good little patch of five minutes. Pendlebury sets oh, him up. Willits at the back. Touched it better than the uh, Werribee affiliate. And Willits will go back and have a shot on goal. As Harry King's a bit slow to get to his feet. But knowing now that Willits has taken the grab, that'll be uh, just like a just like an application of the magic spray there, French. Yep. Uh -huh. No pain there for King as Willits... We'll have another shot on goal in this third term. An opportunity to get the Coppers within one. Kicks on its way. They're up and about the Coppers. They're within one. 
7.14.56 the Cobras. Melbourne South 9.357. 22 and a half minutes gone. Third term. Stick with us on Apple 98.5 FM's BFL game day. Once again, Todd, you know, like, you know, being direct and, you know, giving your forwards a, a chance when, you know, you're kicking deep inside 50. This fiddling around and, you know, going to the flanks and going wide, it, it, it won't reward you here you just got to be long and direct. Well, you want to keep Melton South's A-graders out of the game. Just don't kick the ball to them. And that's what happened in the opening half where Melton South were able to arrest quite a uh, landslide in possession there that the Coppers were had far more of it but just kept giving it back to them and allowed the, the Panthers to get the game on their terms. And a half-time lead to the Panthers has been cut to a one-point margin. 23 minutes gone, third term. Curtis out of the middle, being good for the Panthers. Gets it to half forward, attacking it well there was Got Wood. Here. Got it over Good to end. Curtis, back to Conway. Class finish, if you don't mind. Play of the day. Conway gets in second. And Melton South breathe again. They're back to seven points in front. Absolutely, Todd. You know, uh, young Curtis, you know, uh, contested the footy. Then contested again, followed up, got a handball out to Conway, and uh, the, the rest is history. Yeah, the quality combined there. It was a nice, nice gather there at ground level there by Wood. We gave it to Conway, and the Cobras would be happy. If I told you 24 minutes into the third term that Conway had two, you would have taken that, Fritch. Yeah, no, no doubt, Todd, no doubt. 63, Melton South, lead back as much, 56, 24 minutes gone, third term. Cracker of a game here. Curtis into the middle of the youngster again at ground level. Manages to shark out a hot handball to Chapman. It was too hot yeah, for him. Too high. Yeah. Free kick. Good it's going to go to the uh, to German. Germans uh, fought hard this afternoon. Right foot kick inside 50. Willits fell over the crucial time. Owen, second crack of the cherry. Couldn't quite take the mark. Uh, Pendlebury goes with the soccer. Attacking it well there was Hughes. He's tried hard today, Hughes. Right foot kick inside 50. Doing the mopping up there was Callis. Right foot kick to the outer side centre wing. Under pressure kick it was. Here's Olsen. Will it sit for the left footer? King's in there. Lending assistance there for the Coppers. One on one. Boundary wins out in the end. They'll take that both sides. Take a breather, boys. True outer side centre wing. Boundary throw in. Melton South lead by seven points. 25 minutes gone, third turn. Cobras are hit back from, you know, like uh, a 22, 24 point deficit, Todd, and uh, got themselves back in the game again. And, uh, you know, they've challenged the Panthers, and uh, Panthers have, uh, uh, have come back and, and, and kicked a, a nice goal previously. And, uh, Look, we're, we're, we're set for a really good last quarter. Ordinary kick there from King that went into the uh, direction of uh, Chris uh, from Martin was cut off. Turnover opportunity here for the Panthers as Olsen ends up with ball in hand. Keeps the ball low to Wyatt. The class combining here for the Panthers. 25 and a half minutes gone. They lead by seven points. Wyatt goes forward. Players set themselves. No mark taken. Shark there by Callis across the body. Misses to the right. One behind. Anybody's game, Fred. 10 4 64, Melton South. Back of Smart 7, 14 56. Bay 55's uh, grown in numbers, Todd. There was 10 there before. She's pretty packed now. <laughs> yes, well, uh, they're, they're obviously tuning in to uh, <clears throat> Apple's coverage this afternoon. As the ball goes out in the direction of Owen, he had two to beat. But they got the ball far away from goal here, the Cobras. They'll be okay with that. They've didn't muck around out of defence for once. They got the ball beyond half back, but it's Lloyd's hair pass to Curtis being good. Keeps the kick low. Look at this on the turnover. Sullivan can square it up, and Wyatt takes the mark. And Wyatt will go back and have a shot on goal for a chance to kick his second. And extend an eight-point advantage. Back to 14, makes no mistake. And the Panthers have their 11th of the afternoon. They're 11, 5, 11 4, 70. Back as far as 7, 14, 56. Couldn't be happy with that late goal, Fridge. No, um, once again, uh, turnover in the middle there, Todd, and uh, results in a goal. And, uh, you know, you do all the hard work, get back into the game and, you know, <coughs> Two quite relatively easily goals that we've conceded in the last two minutes. Yep, the youngster, Curtis, again, influential. No time into that young bloke just yet. That's been obvious to us as there's the ball up. Tap one by B. 
Burton. Coming off out of side centre wing there was Fino. Couldn't influence the contest. The ball gets hurried to half forward. Martin attacked the footy of treat. Somehow it ended up in the hands of Fino. Kicked towards half forward. LaFranchi was good. Tried to ride the tackle and gave the hand pass over towards uh, Bartlett. He got it to Christopher. To no one in particular. Shea got a kind bounce. Kept the ball low in the Willens direction. Couldn't take the mark. Ball knocked towards the boundary line. Good gather here from German who kicked the ball across his body to the top of the goal square. Willens again. Can you believe it? Plays over the hand pass and still drivable. Run into an open goal. Reward for effort. And Nick Stilldry kicks his third goal of the afternoon. And quick reply from the Cobras. They're 8-14-62. They trail Melton South 11-4-70. Showed a bit of class there, German. Showed a bit of class. The goal scorers for the Cobras. Nick Stilldry has three. Two each to Jake Owen and Aaron Willits. And one to German. Whilst for Melton South... Sean White and Braden Wood have two each, as does Conway. One each to Olsen, Pendlebury, Fino, Kavarik and Curtis. There's the ball up. Chance here for Griffiths out of the middle to send the Cobras back into attack. Out wide towards Martin, who was hard at it. Took the mark, played on at ground level. Gave the hand pass to Schwarzenberg. Tessity speed, threw the ball on the boot. Deep into attack. Siren sounds, there'll be no score. And we've got a game on in earnest here, if you don't mind. 29 minutes made up that third term. It's Melton South who hang on to a slender lead at home here at Melton Rec Reserve. They're 11 4 70. They lead back as much 8 14 62. We'll take a break and we'll be back with a third quarter update. This quarter was proudly sponsored by Darley Bearing Supplies, Albert Street, Darley Fane, 536767 this broadcast of BFL Game Day is proudly sponsored by Western Screens, Blinds and Awnings. 35A Griffith Street, Bacchus Marsh. Phone 5370 1478. Embroid Me Melton are soon to become fully promoted Melton. Only the name and premises will be changing. They will still have the same great promotional products, workwear and service to help you get your business or club recognised in the community. Embroid Me Melton help Apple 98.5 FM become fully promoted and can do the same for you. Call Frank on 9743 2550. Proud sponsor of this station. I'd always wondered about being a foster carer, but I wasn't sure if I was up to it or even eligible. It turned out that I was, and with all the support and training I got, well, now I'm doing it, and it's fantastic. I'm actually making a difference to a child's life. As foster carers, we come from all walks of life. To find out more, call the hotline on 1-800-013-088 or visit fosterandbrightthefuture.com.au and make a difference to a child's life. Feeling uptight? Cut. 635. Stop for quality and service for your side cut. Phone the top man Graham Gillespie at Rustell for prompt and expert service. Proud. Siren sounds again played away for the final term here at Melton Rec Reserve. It's the Panthers who lead the Cobras by eight points. There's the ball up. First clearance all important. Shea knocks the ball forward only as far as uh, Theo, who's dispossessed, ball at ground level. Hot footy at that at the moment. The umpire will blow the whistle, come in effect the ball up. Attacking side of the middle of the ground for the Coppers. They trail by eight points. 8-14-62. Back of Smash. Melton South, 11-4-70. Possession weighed in favour of the Cobras, but they've been able to, unable to make the most of a more efficient Melton South this afternoon. And it's reflective even more so on the scoreboard with 22 scoring shots to 15. But it's the uh, inferior number, Melton South, with their 15 that lead the Cobras by eight points. There will be a repeat stoppage, attacking side of the middle of the ground. First goal, all important here, Fridge. Yeah, definitely, Ton, and more so for Bacchus Mars than the, than the uh, Panthers. There's the ball up, tap one by Birch, and he went looking for still dryer. Soccer off the ground was OK from Sullivan, but it was been uh, cut off there by the Cobras. They get the ball towards half forward. Dixon didn't have to break stride. He's got speed. Alex to go by foot, though, pre uh, rather than uh, running his full measure. Just set it up for Willits. It went over his head. Griffiths taken to the ground there by Morrissey. The umpire.
umpire says I'll have it. He'll affect the ball up. About 15 metres out from the Cobra goal. Dixon could have just shown a bit more initiative there and ran his full measure and he could have almost been within range as 50 mm 50 -hmm. ball. Panthers with numbers back. They'll affect another repeat stoppage and there'll be a ball up. 10 to 15 metres out from the Cobra goal. A try by eight points. There's the ball up. Tap them. One by the big fella there in Dransman who went searching for the boundary line and found it. He's. Pritchard's uh, installed a lot of faith in Morrissey. He's back on Owen again. Um, giving a bit way, way latitude and height, Todd. Yeah, Mep's there, though. The, the 17, I think there's been oh, a change in that matchup. Chance here for the Cobras. Kick smothered. They've done the one percent as well today, uh, the Panthers, as LaFranchi's hand pass has cut off. Chance there for Sullivan, who's dispossessed. Somehow it fell into the hands of Conway. See, they've looked more open going forward on the press-up. Chance for Wyatt. Got around that tackle for a wall now. Too easy. Right foot tick into attack. Went in the direction of uh, Olsen. Velder nearly fell over. Olsen kept his feet. Oh, no. Was taken to the ground by Velder. Did well. Here come the reinforcements for the Coppers through Christopher. Got it to Wardell. High, slow kick. Out of bounds on the full miss the lot. And Fina will bring the ball back into play for Melton South on half forward out of sign of the ground. Need to be better coming out of defence like that. That, that, was, that was an easy target to find, Todd. Fino to bring the ball back into play. Runs his full measure, right foot kick. Goes in direction of Curtis. He had two to beat. Got uh, ball to, uh, got hand to boot. Kick across the outside of the right foot has been touched. And uh, most disappointed there that the, the Panther forward there with that excellent shark was callous. And uh, one of the Cobra defenders is getting one of their own callous on the ball and gone through for a rush behind. Ball comes back into play. Bartlett, the target, couldn't take the mark. Pendlebury stayed down, did the sharking, the six foot three man. Dribbled the ball inside, uh, forward 40. Chance here for Wyatt, sends the ball in towards Olsen, comes out and takes the mark in front of Veldon. And the left footer will go back and have a shot on goal right in front of the scoreboard. He's got a few to, to choose from to, to play forward. Uh, Todd, like Olsen, Conway, and throw Pendlebury. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got a few that he can choose from, and, you know, they're, they're good quality players, the whole three. Yeah, White's a likely type as well, and Curtis, he, he's uh, he's on the better side of 6-2 as well, Fridge. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So, Olsen will have the shot on goal. They like it. That's what they needed to pair. There's some separation on the scoreboard, the 12th of the afternoon. And Olsen kicks his second of the afternoon. Melton South now. 12 6 78 lead back of Smash. 8 14 62. What's a behind Todd? Oh. Well, I've never known the Panthers faithful to cheer so much for a behind. As the ball comes back into play, they get it beyond half back, and Bartner, Bartler takes the mark, plays on, hand pass. Oh, this is a 50 50 ball. German needs to be good here. Conway with a hand pass. Got it to Pendlebury. Hurry kick to Dransman. Didn't really go the required distance, but the umpires paid the mark nonetheless. Wilson goes onto the right foot. Awkward right foot goes in the direction of Curtis. Comes out, takes the mark, the youngster. Paul, he's impressed this afternoon. He'll go back and have a shot on goal. Why, why would you want to overuse the footy in the middle of the ground, streaming forward? Why not kick it? Feeding them, it's not rocket science. They just, they're their own worst enemy, Bacchus Marsh. Curtis will have a shot on goal. He's been good this afternoon. He's kicked one. The left footer. Set sail for the judge. The Panthers are up and about this time. He's put it through. 12-6-78. Melton South lead. Packers Marsh 8-14-62. Curtis has his second goal. And the way I see things this afternoon, Fridge, the youngster is just about in the votes. Well, he's uh, not far off uh, being best on ground. Uh, a boy that's uh, out of the uh, Western Jets. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a likely type. Now, let's check out the response from the Cobras. They trail by 16. Needless to say, Burton won that tap. Got it to Shea at ground level. He's taken to the ground by 
the man of the moment, Curtis. There'll be a repeat stoppage. Right in the middle of the ground here. Melton South lead by 16. Burton won the tap, trying to get Shea on the hop. Missed him. Curtis out of the middle. Evasive skills to the left side, but too much for the Cobras. Penetrating left foot kick to a vacant out of side. Half forward line. Ball set okay for Callis. Tackle taken to the ground by LaFranchi. Tackle's good. Ball at ground level. Dottermain had to be quick. Taken to the ground. Hot footy here. German over it. Can he gather? He does. Hand pass was clever. Got it to Schwarzenberg. His hand pass was good. Got it to Dottermain. Back to German. Right foot kick inside 50. Willits is the target. Sets himself. Couldn't take the mark. Pleaded with the umpire for a free kick. Ball ends up in the hands of Owen and Callis. Call it even. The umpire says, I'll have it. And he'll pull it up 25 metres out from the Cobra goal. Game gone up a little... Uh, Fridge in the last couple of minutes. Burton grabs it out of the ruck. Just hand pass it towards vacant space. Hopeful rather than anything else. Tumbling pressure kick out of defence there from the Panthers. Went in the callous direction. Managed to shrug the tackle from uh, LaFranchi. Curtis again. Steering kick went in the direction of uh, Conway. They've got numbers here. The Cobras through Christopher. Belder knocks it forward towards Blundell. Right foot hurry kick to the outer side forward. 52 yeah, to beat. Parente. And the youngster Parente Great mark. does just that. He's looking in, Bordy. Does it look like he Long. wants to uh, have a shot on goal? Kicks it high to the top of the square. Goes in the direction towards Arwen. He goes back. The umpire's picked out a free kick. It's going to go back as fast as way. And it's going to go to Willits, if you don't mind. I didn't see anything. And Willits will go back and have a shot on goal. An opportunity to narrow this margin here. Eight minutes into the final term. Back to ten points. Willits, shot on goal, no mistake. Melton South wanted to know what the free kick was for, so too fringe in all fairness. But it's enough for the Cobras to narrow the margin of 10 points. They're 9-14-68, the Cobras. They trail Melton South, 12-6-78. Eight and a half minutes gone, final term. I'll take it, Todd, and so will the marsh. Aaron Willits kicks his third goal of the afternoon. He matches Nick Stulldryer's return. Also, of three, Jake Owen, two. Tom German has one. That makes up the Cobras nine goals for the afternoon. Whilst for the leading Melton South, Wyatt, Conway, Wood and Curtis have two each. One each to Olsen, Pendlebury, Fino and Kavarik. But both sides have been hard at it at the contested footy, you know. Um, it's just the breaks, where, where do they go either way um, will, will determine the game here. Um, yeah, it's been a good game of footy. Yep. Unlike the one at the MCG this afternoon, Gold Coast 79, defeated Collingwood 55. They're gone. There's the ball up. Tap one by Burton. Went looking for still dryer. He found him. Tried to break the tackle. He did so, but Logan Blundell went without it. Here's a chance on the turnover for the Panthers through uh, Sullivan, who got the ball over towards Callis, who got it to Thornton Gilly. He went deep into attack, and there's the man again, Curtis. Fanny can pop up in your soup here at the moment, Curtis. He'll go back and have a shot on goal. 25 metres out from goal. A little bit more acute than the... 45 degree angle but uh, you'd think he'll have a shot here with uh, all the confidence in the world chance to kick his third of the afternoon Curtis leans back on the kick comes back beautifully around for a goal there's the answer the Panthers were after got some class about him Todd 13-684, Melton South lead back as March 9-14-68. We did speak about the attention or their lack of into Curtis into the second half. And uh, the youngster has... But, I mean, how many of them do you go to? You've got Pendlebury, Olsen, Wyatt and the like. He's got some mastery to deal with. Um, but uh, Bartlett's got the job. So there's some respect right there. Yep. There's the ball up, back in the middle of the ground. It's Melton South who lead by 16. Ball gets knocked to the outside centre wing. Thornton Gill and got the ball to his brother in there in uh, Will. Hurry kick only as far as LaFranchi on halfback. Goes wide to German. Be good today, German. Right foot kick towards half forward. Goes into the king direction. Didn't get a hand on it in the end, can you believe it? Callis does the mobbing up. Gets the Panthers out of trouble. Right foot kick goes out wide towards Jake Thornton Gillen. Had to get body or ball there. Shea got neither. 
And Thornton Gillum, right foot kick to the attacking uh, 45, if you don't mind. Curtis in front, couldn't take the mark. Burton did the sharking, well read by Will Thornton Geeling. Loves a goal, decided to give the hand pass to Wyatt. Well, it's hit okay for Thornton Geeling. I speak of Will, shrugs one tackle, kick across the body. Loves these, put it through. And Will Thornton Geeling, who does love a goal, has pushed forward and kicked a left foot. Left foot shot across the body and has put it through. Melton South, 14 6 90. Vagus Marsh 9 14 68. 22 point advantage to the Panthers. It's a, it's a long way back from here now, Todd. Well, you're never out of it at Melton South. I tell you, 95 got beat last week. 96 was the, uh, the winning score. So the, they need to keep pressing here. As Dixon goes forward for the Cobras in the Owen direction. Couldn't take the mark from the outstretched hands. Meps dead in chase. Owen just falls over at the crucial moment just as he tried to wheel onto that right boot and have a shot on goal. Chance here for Pendlebury. Left foot kick's okay. Gets beyond the defensive 40. Found Chapman. Right foot kick founds Notman. They got some separation on Wardell and took the mark. Just how well the, how hard the Cobras are prepared to work without the footy. Kick was oh, excellent tackle there by Christopher. The umpire went to blow the whistle, but he let it go. Germans hurry, kick forward. Only Pendlebury could have been able to outstretch the hands and mark that one. Burton pushing back behind the ball for the Coppers. He's their saving grace as Pendlebury goes in the middle of the ground to Sharp. He switches play right out wide towards Morrissey. Got some separation on Willets. On half back. They're not in a hurry now, the Panthers. As they were earlier in the game, they lead by <coughs> 22. Tumbling kick goes in the direction of White. Couldn't take the mark. Tried to throw it away. To, that's got to be holding the ball, but the umpires let it go. Hand pass from Christopher. Went for the Shea. He missed it. Blundell gathered. Oh, that's a free kick to German. That'll go against Olsen. And uh, German will take the free kick down the ground. And the beneficiary will be Logan Blundell. Right foot kick from Blundell. Goes in the direction of Martin. Couldn't take the mark. Free kick there. Obvious free kick to Martin. Who does a bit of remonstrating. Can go and telegraph the hand pass over to Griffiths. Right foot kick inside 50. Goes into the Owen direction. Couldn't take the mark. Ball at ground level. Got it. Chance for Owen. Yes. Second attempt. Puts it through. That's the reply the Packers Marsh were after. They got their tenth on the board. And we're back to a 16-point ball game. 14 minutes gone. Final term. Just persistency by Owen, you know, contested the mark. Ball falls to the ground, follow-up footy, and uh, he's results in a, a well-earned goal. 14-6-90, Melton South lead, back as March 10-14-74. Been playing 14 and a half minutes in this final term. How long has Draxman been playing? Because David Barnes has just texted me and he said he played against him. He That's retired right. in 1994. Yep, got told during the week he's played 350 <laughs> games. As uh, Kavari got it towards Conway. Open hand pass to Callis. He's got the speed to burn. Got away from Wardell. Open goal. Bang. Put it through. Took him 20 seconds to get that reply, if you don't mind. Would have taken you longer to read that text of David Barnes. That's how quick that reply was. Yeah, no, nah, he's just fallen off the cart. <laughs> <laughs> so a goal to Callis. And Melton South, that's the response they wanted there. 15 6 96. They lead back a smash. 10 14 74. They just seem to have the answers now. And the Panthers have kicked their highest score of the year. Kicked 14 11 last week. It was one point shy of Redans. They kicked 1 6 in the last quarter, including three posters. And Conway kicked 4 7 to go down by a point. There's been none of that this evening or this afternoon. <laughs> As we're back in the middle, Burton and Thornton Gillen in the ruck, if you don't mind. It wasn't a bad effort there from uh, Thornton Gillen. Ball goes to ground. There'll be a repeat stoppage. Ball up. Near 16 minutes gone, final term. Melton South, 96 lead back at Smash, 74. It's getting a bit dark here, <coughs> Todd. They might turn the lights on and we won't see anything. Oh, please. <laughs> Spare me the... Uh, Spare me the murder in the dark scenario. <laughs> of course, next week we're 
at Manningley Park. It's the Cobras hosting East Point. That's next week. As there's the ball up, tap one by Burton, but to no real advantage. Getting a little bit frustrated, the big fella. <coughs> yeah. For all that hard work and hit outs. I reckon they've only had a handful against him this afternoon. They've really been unable to have effective clearance out of the stoppage as Burton's tap went as far as Shea. Quick hands, cut off there. There's another example. Sent forward by oh. the uh, the Panthers. Curtis was hard in on it and uh, should have given away a free kick. And uh, the non... Uh, the, Affiliating umpire has yeah. given the free kick and should have been a free kick. Yep, and Bartlett will take the free kick for all the courage in the world as yeah. Curtis just crashed into the back of him. As that hospital kick went forward and uh, the officiating umpire didn't pay it. It took the central umpire, in fact, to come over and intervene as Bartlett takes the kick. Waste no time. Hurried kick to still drive. Put him under the pump. Oh, what's going on here? They're going to bring it back. And uh, he's going to have another another kick there, Bartlett. It's going to go to... Um, Good pick up by the umpire, Todd. Well, it looks like Bartlett will take that free kick again unless the umpire... What is he doing? Well, they always have their moments in the sun. The umpires on, a, on an afternoon. They've been OK this afternoon as Bartlett goes to the outer side. Take two, if you don't mind. Found Curtis, who went to... Went with the, uh, with the spoil over the line for a boundary throw in. The Cobras wanting deliberate. The umpire says no. Boundary throw in to take place. Out of side centre wing. Melton South lead by 18 points. 18 minutes gone. Final turn. There's the throw in. Burton got pushed under the football by Thornton Gielan. Might have caught one high. The umpire the said no. Nope. Just enjoying the jog back indeed. And didn't put the whistle to mouth. And finally he does. There'll be a ball up. <coughs> 18 minutes gone. Tap one by Burton was hopeful more than anything else to be a cobra under it, but it was Sullivan who does the mopping up. Got the ball to Lloyd. Hand pass over towards Thornton. Gill and hurried right foot kick towards half forward. A nice mark taken on half back there by Shea. He's been good as well. Kick wasn't as good as uh, we've seen this afternoon as Olsen with that windy left foot gets towards half forward. They've got the numbers here, the Panthers. Chance for Curtis. Kick across the body. Gets towards the last line of uh, attack. And I think it might have gone through for a point. It has. And uh, be handy one at that. Melton South, 15-7-97. Lead back as much. 10-14-74. 23-point lead. 19 minutes gone. Final term. Waste no time. Kick into the middle of the ground. Was good by the Cobras. Owen was tackled. Taken to the ground. Free kick. And it's going to go to Thornton Gillen. Gave the hand pass to Lloyd. His right foot kick. Goes out wide into the wide direction. He couldn't take the mark. Doing the sharking there was Conway. His kick was smothered. His second effort. Snap with the onside of the right boot. Luck's a fortune if you don't mind. And Conway's put it through. 16-7-103, Melton South lead, Packers Marsh, 10-14-74. Need 20 minutes gone, final turn. Well, that's the nail in the coffin, Todd. There's no coming back from here for the for the Cobras. You know, uh, the first 15 minutes of the first quarter, you know, dominated the game, you know, didn't put the score on the board. Um, Panthers have, uh, you know, like, just pressure um, and they're... The execution of the footy and transitional has just been a little bit better and there's speed around the footy too. They found a smokey in the ruck through Thornton Gielan who won that uh, clearance, who got it to Pendlebury, got it to half forward, picked up by Fino. Into attack, Curtis comes out, takes the mark and he'll go back and have a shot on goal for an opportunity to kick. He's fourth of the afternoon and I reckon he's had a play in three or four others, Fridge. Yeah, no, nah, he's uh, BOG by a mile, Todd. So, Paul Curtis, I bet your other teams will be happy to hear about his return to the Western Jets when uh, that month of, that month void of footy comes to an end. Curtis leans back on it. He may have missed to the right. He has. Yep. Curtis thought he had that, but uh, no. Minus so score. Only mistake he's made. Still 10 minutes of time, really, left in this game, so... Todd, South 104, Bacchus Marsh 74. If the Marsh win from here, Todd, I'll piggyback you home to Bacchus Marsh. 
So you, you'd, you'd think an upset here would be the biggest oh. boil over since Polly put the kettle on. You can't win. All right. Win. So there's a, there's a break in players. Country footy does its thing. We await for the uh, retrieving of the football. We'll give you an update score in other games in the BFL. There's a Caucasian fella run away with the footy. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Winter East 74, North Ballarat 53. Redan 104, lead Ballarat 50. East Point 84, lead Samri 41. Sebastopol 57, lead Melton 56. Good game. As the ball comes back into play, Cobras, right foot kick beyond half back. Oh, and the target takes one of the marks for the day. Read it beautifully over the back of Meps there. Too far out to score. True centre wing. It's had but one kick out of the back line and it's on centre wing. Owen ran too close to the man on the mark. Chance of Pendlebury. Left foot, high kick. Mepstead's going to end up with a footy here. Can you believe it? It was a man on the mark a moment ago. And now he's, and got, now the he's got the footy. And he's going to send the Panthers into attack. And they go in the direction of Conway. Two to beat. Second grab, couldn't take it. Ball at ground level. Chance here for Conway. Gets the hair pass to Curtis. Taken to ground by Hughes. And the umpire says, I'll have it. There'll be a ball up. 40 metres out from the Panthers' goal. It's been a good contest between Felden and Conway. You know, um, so it'd be 50-50, really, Todd? Yeah, it's been a... Uh, been most contests have been good this afternoon. It's just been the effectiveness of the Panthers that uh, looks like it's going to prevail on the day. The German's been good. Hand pass over the top towards Dottomay. But uh, ball fence uh, falls into the hands of Martin. He got it to German. Outside of the boots to Dottomay. They need to move the ball. But uh, he goes back and goes short to Martin. But they need to go longer into the Willits direction. He chooses that option. Willits sets himself. And takes uh, just a little bit laconic there. Finishing off his work. Had every bit of the footy. But did every bit but take the mark of the end as the ball gets ushered towards half back for the Panthers. Over the footy there is Sharp. In there with Schwarzenberg. The umpire says, I'll have it. And he'll pull it up. 45 metres out from the Cobra goal. They trail by 30 points. 23 and a half minutes gone, final turn. Here's the ball up. Tap one by Thornton Gill, and he's been serviceable at least in the ruck. Free kick will go to the Panthers here to Callis. We speak of David. He can go short to Jake Thornton Gill, and he ignores that option. We'll go short. The kick's okay enough to find Wyatt. He kicks to a vacant out of side centre wing. Taken there by Michael Callis. He's got some speed to burn. Right foot kick inside 50. Goes looking there towards Conway. Juggled mark. Two to beat. Outpointed his copper opponent. He's taken the mark. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Right in front of the scoreboard. And an opportunity to extend on this Panthers 30-point lead as we need 24 and a half minutes gone final term. Yeah, the locks of fortune there for him because uh, I thought there might have been a free kick the other way, but uh, I might have been a bit biased, Todd. But, uh, you yeah, know, it'll take a good kick from here. Well, you think over the journey at home, Conway's going to get enough forward entries here on this uh, smaller ground of Melded South. And whether he's got a kicking boot on will determine just uh, how influential he can be in 2021 as he sets sail for the judge, misses everything, out of bounds, on the full, 25 minutes gone, final term. Melton South 104, lead back as March 74. An update in other games in Ballarat League football. Windery 81, lead North Ballarat 63. Redan, 48 point leaders over Ballarat. East Point lead Summary by 36. Melton leads Sebast by two points. And we've got the Panthers who lead the Coppers by 30 here at Melton Rec Reserve. Kick back in from half back. Oh, sorry, out of the fence by the Cobras. Got to Burden. He got it towards uh, German. Hurry kick to the other side, centre wing. Panthers have got the numbers and the pace through Callis. Right foot kick into the wards, the wood direction. He waits at the back, but uh, couldn't benefit off that, uh, off that bit of play. Panthers just with uh, a bit of pace here in the... Uh, in the dying sort of half of this uh, second term. But somehow the Cobras end up with the footy and get the ball towards the outer side centre wing. Mark taken there by Owen. They've got no time to waste. He keeps the ball low. And it's stumped off hands over the line for a boundary throw-in. 
Near 26 minutes gone. Final term here at Melton Rec Reserve. Melton South 16 8 104. Lead back as March 10 14 74. They haven't certainly stopped trying back as much, but they just haven't. Efficiency going forward is just costing them dearly. Todd? Burton tried to thump the ball forward, fell into the hands of Callis. He hasn't got any slower as the game's gone on, but uh, he's run, run out of bounds. He's gone on the wrong side of the white line in the white boots, and the umpire will bring the ball back into play. Melton South lead by 30. Still a couple of minutes to go in this final term, you'd think. Burton went the tap, went looking for German, couldn't find him. Hurried disposal out of the congestion from uh, Will Th uh, Thornton Gill, and he's been good in this final term. Got to the outer side, centre wing. Chance here for Olsen. Penetrating left foot kick, keeps it low. Ordinary kick in the end. Cut off there by Lahure. His right foot kick goes okay towards Schwarzenberg. They've got Martin and they've got Dixon over the back. And they've got King further afield. King sets himself. Takes the mark in front of Pendlebury. Tacking side of centre wing. Social club side of the ground. Right foot kick into attack. Goes out wide in the winner's direction. But it's been cut off by Thornton Yellen. Had a good game. And an excellent final term. And Thornton Gillen with the left foot will go out of the side of the ground. High kick. They'll be happy with a, a mark in the crowd here because that's the only one who's going to mark it. It's missed everything out, over the line. Out of bounds on the fall and Burton will bring the ball back into play. The kick short to Christopher. Goes short again to German. On half forward. Probably too far out to score. The 45 to 50. Can go short. Looking there towards Willits. Errant kick. Riley Theo does the intercepting. Lloyd got towards Sharp. Chance here for uh, the Panthers to get out of trouble through Morrissey. Got it to Mepstead. Mepstead's kick short's okay to Jake Thornton Gill and right foot kick to the outer side. Callis's pace has been valuable in this final term. Doesn't get any slower. Right foot kick along the lines. An excellent kick to Olsen who can wheel around onto the left boot. Goes short. Kicks good to Wyatt. Good passage here from the Panthers. When they link up in the chain, they look good. Here's the BOG, Curtis, onto the left boot. As soon as you give him a wrap, he shanks it. Second Could mistake. Picked out three Cobras at the end, but uh, not by intention, as uh, the Cobras will turn the ball over through Dixon, through the middle of the ground. One-on-one. -on -one. Morrissey. Have Just a look at that. Better than Willis. Have a look at that. Four-on-one. So... Bringing that defence here was uh, sharp with the hand pass and the Cobras will get them, uh, the Panthers will get themselves out of trouble. Setting himself there was Theo, couldn't take the mark, but Frankie tried hard. Hand pass in board to Shea, right foot kicking board's good. King was a tight attempted mark as the siren sounds to end proceedings here. It's a Melton Rec Reserve and the Panthers home crowd to be ecstatic. They had, they had one win at home in 2019 and that was against North Ballarat by a similar margin. And they have won their opening game of season 2021. They're one and two. They look pretty good when they got the ball in hand, Melton South. 16 8 104. They've defeated Packers Mars 10 14 74 in Apple 98.5 FM's game of the round. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the goal kickers and best players. This quarter was proudly sponsored by Darley Bearing Supplies, Albert Street, Darley Fane, 5367 this broadcast of BFL Game Day is proudly sponsored by Western Screens, Blinds and Awnings, 35A Griffith Street, Bacchus Marsh, phone 5370-1478. SLM Organisation.